I'm pretty sure she lies to me about my penis, but that's okay. Yeah, that's, is that is that normal? Not normal. About what? To lie to your significant other about their penis. <laughs> clip that's, it. That's <laughs> clip it for TikTok. That's a yes. Clip that. That's a yes. Let's go home. Remembering someone by how they smell is something that I literally have nightmares about if it's not in a good way. But remembering someone by how good they smell and the association of being like, oh, they're a good scenty person. It's the dream. Someone like that has a scent that makes a statement before they even say a word. And let's be honest, we all want to be a good scenty person. But it can be hard to pick which one is for you. How long does it last? Does it mix well with my natural scent? Scent. Will I hate it after two weeks? With our next sponsor, Scentbird, you don't have to worry about any of that. Scentbird is reimagining how people discover, shop for, purchase, and even experience fragrances. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for just $17. There are no surprises. So you can try out fragrances and find one you like before committing to a full price bottle, which we can all know is a little pricey. So we've got our three samples and you get your little like informative little note card with each of them. This month we got Skylar um, by Clean Beauty. This one is Cappuccino, Pure Vanilla and Caramelized Cedar, which is my personal favorite. We've also got Ash by Ashley Benson, a celeb. It's scents of rose, black cedar and zesty orange. And we've also got Room 1015. I feel like this one was your favorite. We've got bergamot, lemon, cardamom, black pepper and saffron. And you've got your little minis right here. We're gonna try this live because we just got them. Setberg carries brands like Prada, Gucci, and Versace, as well as indie labels like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of Rebel. So you'll be able to find something you like. Use our code WILDTILL9 for 55% off at Scentbird. It's just a little over $7 for your first month. Available in the USA and Canada. Thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring. Sign up and smell good. Welcome back to Wild Till 9. Ooh. Woo! Wow! Look at the enthusiasm Get today. Wild we, here, man. Oh my god! I thought you were to undo a button. That was crazy. Let's probably do one up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's a crazy orgy we just had. That god, was crazy. Damn. I thought we weren't going to talk about that. That was nuts. <laughs> yeah, you really sweat it. Stop it. You're today crazy. Today we are joined by Jason Nash, creator and comedian, newly engaged father of two, and new holder of an eight pack. Burr, 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 burr. I was just in Jamaica and. <laughs> It's the amount of rap air horn going on. Really? In Jamaica. Like specifically. It's just all the time. Really? Oh my God. You turn on the radio and it's just like. Air horn. Hey, meh, 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 meh. Happy honest. Friday, everyone. <laughs> meh, 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 meh. It's, it's unreal. So, I, yeah. I love an air horn. There's nothing that gets you hyped like an air horn. I downloaded the app, but it doesn't really sound Ooh, great. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> it's, go ahead. A, it's okay. No, 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 we'll wait. Yeah. Oh, wow, no. air horn to, app. No, I have to pay two ninety nine. Oh yeah, no, 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 that's Fuck that's that. a lot no, for no, an no. air horn. It's crazy. That's for free in Jamaica. Yeah. Is this your first time in Jamaica? Well, did I say Jamaica? Yeah. I was in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> like, like an IRS agent out there that you're like trying to evade? No, no, no Bahamas, Bahamas. Yeah. Okay. They're very, they're very. Um, I noticed one thing on the radio. They're like not as sensitive about race. Okay. Over, oh. over there, and so the guy got on there, and he was like. Uh, he was like, happy Friday, everybody. He's like, I want to say hello to all the white people. <laughs> Chinese people. Whoa. And he went and he said like Named every race. all the races he could think of. New Zealand. Uh, that's not a race. That's a race. But- <laughs> I was like, oh, yes, the race of New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not Kiwis, New Zealand. <laughs> the race of New yeah. Zealand. Mm, yeah. Oh my God. So yeah, it's, it's Bahamas is wild. It's, uh, it's nice. I've never been there before. Stayed near the Atlantis. Um, and, um, but not at the Atlantis. No, no. And then, you know, it was funny cause you got there and they're like, we're going to stay on an Island. You have to take a boat to where you want to go. Oh, okay. And, yeah. I, and I, and I was like, oh my God, it's incredible. Like on a, uh, we have to take a boat to the house. It's going to be amazing. And then we got there and then we realized that we were trapped <gasps> on the oh. Island. Yeah. You're trapped on, on this. Uh, yeah. So you that's, can't go anywhere. That's a movie. Like that's the opening of a horror movie. Yeah. 100%. yeah but if I was the guy who owned the Island, I would make it super cheap to like stay there. But then mm. once you got there, everything is t- ridiculously expensive. Because what are you going to do? It's, For the excursions. It, it, that's exactly it. So we'd have to walk right. to Atlantis and we wanted Diet Cokes. Yeah. Well, and it was like $50 to Diet them. Cokes. And I had to walk a mile both ways. <laughs> Wait, so did you go to Atlantis? Yep. <gasps> did you, and you did all the Atlantis things? Um, uh, yeah, we did the Lazy River. <gasps> How was it? Uh, 
It was fantastic. Ever actually. since Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen went to the Atlantis <laughs> in the movie, right. it's it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 gotten older. Okay. Atlantis, but it's still nice. It's still fun. It's very family oriented. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, which is like uh I, I can appreciate that, but some of my younger friends were kind of like, eh, what's you the point? Not into the, yeah, yeah, and then we went okay. to Nobu. It was terrible. That's right. We just had the Nobu conversation. We told told yeah. you that. What mm-hmm. else happened? Well, <laughs> a, 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 on a side note that we weren't in planning that. Like, Plenty I'm talking about. Atlantis was what uh, a make believe place. It was a place. We think it was a place. No, oh. I think it's 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 the underwater world. I think that there's maybe enough evidence Proof that it. there was an Atlantis. Right, but we don't know where it is. Right. Mm, Sorry, I just Catalina. wondering what like what the uh, the, yeah. the impetus We're was. We're about for to this. be on Atlantis talk immediately oh, after this. That's, episode. I want nothing more. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Jason, what talk are you on right now? TikTok. Yeah, what talk? Um, I am on, uh, Tucker Carlson talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I don't even like Tucker Carlson. Okay. Right. How, right. Do, you, how do you think you but got But they're there? like middle-aged uh, white man. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I okay. don't know. Yeah. It's just like, uh, people coming up on Tucker Carlson in the street and, oh. and talking to oh, him oh, so and it's bothering like, him and like pa- paparazziing him yeah. and, and him being like, uh, okay. Hey, yeah. You can film me. I don't know. I don't, I, I my TikTok goes all around. Uh-huh. Yeah. I have one friend um, and his TikTok is all Down syndrome kids. Okay. Yeah. One of my- So I I don't know, I don't know how. Yes, I have a a friend who has a similar TikTok as well too. I was on that for a while. (laughs) I'm off that now. Yeah, yeah. that was a couple weeks ago. I was telling Jason about the Ninja Creamy as we're talking about our Mm -hmm. um, health journeys. I was telling him about the Ninja Creamy and Jeremy as like someone who gives no shits about like the health consciousness of uh, an ice cream yeah. can vouch that it is incredible. It's, it's pretty good. Is Although, it better than regular ice cream? No. Oh, oh my God, oh, oh, oh. no. I mean, no. 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 But also like you do this thing where, and I don't think you really understand it, that you're doing it when there's like someone working at the house like this past week and you just keep walking around and just like audibly saying, I can't wait for my creamy tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I gotta be honest, like Ninja the last time you said that- probably could have chose a different name for well, it. I just said the last time we did that, like our, the guy who was like working on like our, yeah. our, our nerd stuff, like yeah. I could see him just go, Oh like, God! This moment uh, of just like I, I don't even think about it anymore. Well, he was like, like I so could tell right. he was like I didn't hear that. It's all good, and I was like, well, no, it's a no. Yeah, I feel like they probably could have workshopped that name a little bit longer. I, Is that I why like you it. yelled that out during the orgy? But yeah, that yes. was oh, I was I calling back to it. Yeah, okay. it's like an inside mm-hmm. joke, but yeah, mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm just saying when your vlog content is really interesting for the people that are IRL. Yeah, 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 right, and right. For so what are you putting in the Ninja Creamy Snickers stuff like that? Reese's. So, um, did you hear the way he said? Yeah, can I? I That's literally the way, by the couldn't way. even. Reese's? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not kidding. I almost made a TikTok about this the other day, and but I didn't. I was like, "Am I? Am I gonna just like fuel the flame too hard on like the controversy around Reese's?" Oh, how do you say it? Reese's. Oh, Reese's. It's Reese's. It's, it's Reese's. not. It's Pieces. not. It's not. Oh, that, <laughs> that yeah, also yeah, yeah. is just Pieces. Pieces. It, uh, Oh my god. She's Canadian. She does not say Jersey, Reese's. Like, Literally, I was gonna make a TikTok being like, if if you pronounce this as Reese's, we just can't be friends, and you're obviously illiterate. But I felt like that was too harsh. All right, and comments so, below. Let's, fight. let's let's just settle you know, this. You know it's what, just wrong. It's just know, wrong. You know what bumps me out is when your friends go like this. I have friends that do this. You go over to the restaurant, and they go, they have the menu, and they go, "I'm gonna do the." <laughs> I hate that. I'm gonna do. You're not gonna do anything. Uh, you you sit know. There. Yeah, I actually sit there. noticed when I moved to the States, the way that Americans order, and maybe just the Americans that I've surrounded myself with, order from the menu in a much um, harsher manner than Canadians. Uh-huh. Like, I feel like I was always raised to be like, um, may I have the, or would I be able to have the, yeah. or could I have that? Like, it's it's much more like, play, even though like I'm literally at a restaurant to order a meal, like, yeah. and there's no reason to be like, would it be possible if I could maybe have the spaghetti? <laughs> like, it doesn't need to be like that. But Americans are like, can I get the? Yeah. I'll get the, like, it's just so like, like, just like uh, harsh, I guess it feels harsh. Maybe it's, just to my Canadian ears. Yeah. It's a hundred percent harsh and people need more manners Yeah, and people need to be more grateful that someone's going to serve them yeah. and be a lot nicer. Yeah. And maybe yeah. also because I, did you ever work in the, the restaurant industry at all? I, I worked at an old folks home and I, I waited on them. That was it. How were they? Huh? They, they, they're dropping like flies. <laughs> They would die every day, <laughs> and then you'd come in, you'd be so sad. 
And oh, you're like, where's Marv? And right. he's like, hey, uh, oh. you're like, do you learn not to ask? Like, don't ask where yeah. Marv is. <laughs> yeah, after a while, you're right. like, fuck, Marv's not out of his room. Well, I feel like there's like two types of old people. Like, they're the old people that are like, like joking about how life is temporary right. and it's a good spirits. And then yeah. it's just like, I'm going to die anyway. It doesn't matter. Right, the crotchety old man. Uh, but I'm still living. <laughs> and yeah. it'd be cool if we yeah. just pretended like life was okay. What um, quote unquote normal jobs did you have uh, before oh. Vine? Because Vine, Vine was the first like social media job. So what was, what were your normal jobs before that? I worked at a news station once. Oh. Uh, I wanted to be a journalist. Oh. And I wanted to be a sports journalist. And, really? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In Boston? Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I worked at Channel 4 in Boston. Okay. And I used to answer the uh, the phone. What's the tag? They have to have one. Uh, I, Eyewitness News. Uh, like, is there like a little, five. little jingle? Uh, Channel 4? da 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 <laughs> I would say that because last time we talked about Massachusetts on this podcast, every fucking comment was from apparently 98% of the people that watch this yeah. live in Massachusetts. Oh, what did they have to say? It's just the way that you guys pronounce city names. is just oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was yes. Carly and Aaron. No. Oh, oh yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Aaron's yeah, yeah, yeah. from that. No, yeah. no school in Duxbury. And she, she quizzed us on some of the craziest spelling of cities and towns. Oh, she did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, Didn't do well. No. Flopped. Boston's great. I mean, it's a it's a great place to live, and they like they take care of their citizens. Like, um, you know, they take care of their old people. It's clean, low crime, yeah. cold, uh, great food, and like great people. But it it doesn't have the like excitement of here. Yeah, you know, uh, the uh, sunshine. Yeah, the, the sunshine warmth. and the you know and the, people are very. Uh, there's a little stayed there. Yeah, a little what stayed. 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 What stayed. Is that mean? Boring. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, a little yeah. button down. Okay. Okay. Uh, but okay. but just great people. Like I would move there now if I really? could afford to. Yeah. I could afford. I, I, is, I feel could like it's more affordable. affordable. Could afford to not work. Okay, oh. got it. I was, <laughs> I was like, gonna say I feel like it's more like, affordable to maybe live there than here. Boston's <laughs> expensive. It is expensive. Because I, I went. I thought about going to Berkeley uh, when I was like thinking to myself that somehow flex. I was gonna find yeah college of music. I not know. California. My son did a summer program at Berkeley. Oh, yeah, that's also flex. That's how you guys got money now. That shit is expensive. No, 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 no. Oh no, it was. It was. Yeah. No, <laughs> definitely is. No, but like, I think it was like five, it was like a four or five grand. Right, which like at the time, especially like sixty grand a year for tuition, like no, yeah. with no chance for me. I don't know That's how insane. I was going to try and rationalize yes. that. Yeah, but I, I loved Boston. A little bit like by, like by the like Red Sox Stadium, little House of Blues area there. Like everyone's walking around, yeah. freezing together. I, I was. I dropped him off at Berkeley for like a summer program. It was two months, and it was his first time away from home. Oh. So I was like. I, I flew him there and I said goodbye at the dorm. Oh. And then I, uh, and I said goodbye to him on the street, actually. I said goodbye on the street, but gave him a hug and they didn't want him to see me crying, you know? <laughs> so I turn around and I start, I'm like fucking bawling, <laughs> walking away from him. And he's like, he's fine. Like he's yeah. so he's excited totally to fine. start his yeah, life. Yeah. Okay, dead bye. And fucking look up. They see Gwyneth Paltrow looking at me, <laughs> crying. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's like. <laughs> That's hysterical. And, uh. And she was there on the street. It was so odd. Was she dropping a child off? Two just so. literally I happened to be there. I think so. Maybe she maybe she was dropping a child off. I don't know. But it was so bizarre. Just oh my see God, that's it. hilarious. And Gwyneth Paltrow was like, I mean, she's breathtaking. Well, that's, that's like shocking. That explains why I heard in a podcast Gwyneth Paltrow talking about how she was dropping a kid off. <laughs> and she saw uh, Jason Nash. She was like, it, just, it was just touching to and me. And your eyes connected yeah. and melted together. Yeah. Can you imagine? She was like, what a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> Drop your kid off and go. <laughs> So funny. Wait, I, I interrupted you. Okay, Channel Four. Yeah, mm-hmm. Channel Four News, and then I would, uh, I would, I was on the assignment desk, and I just answer calls all what, day. What does that mean? So the assignment desk is like, it's like a, it's it, it's like a bullpen, and it, and all the reporters come and get their assignments, and you answer the phone. Yep. So, uh, you know, you'll get a lot of crazy people calling in bomb threats. You get people calling oh asking God. for Michael Jackson. Okay, Jesus. Uh, it's a lot of crazy calls. I just saw Michael Jackson on Woburn Street, you oh, know, stuff like that. Before Twitter. Okay. Yes, Got yes, it. before Twitter. Oh, this is like a live, live Twitter feed, basically. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And and then uh, one time. One, I just saw Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, he's dead. You're like, what? <laughs> you no. didn't see him. Uh, one, one, time, uh, one time, I was trying to do such a good job because I wanted to like do well in life. And uh, <laughs> I was like, you know, when you're young, you're just like not smart. Especially guys are not smart. No. Mm. They're just not smart. I'd say a guy is a kid until he's like 30. Yeah. You know? Congratulations, Jeremy. You are, you are one year old. I am, I am now an adult. one. Thank you. Yeah. You, know, yeah. like you really are stupid. Yeah. So dumb. <laughs> Most. Um, like my 17 year old is so much uh, 
dumber than my 14 year old. Oh, interesting. Yeah, but, but not not in school. Like right. he does fine yeah, in school, yeah, yeah. but like if you want to like put his shoes on, he can't do it. Right. Right. You know, stuff like that. So so yeah, I was just dumb. And um and the, I remember this woman called and and uh, this, this cameraman's uh, wife called. She's like, "Hey, is Joe there?" And I was like, I was like, "No, no, he's on assignment." And she's like, "Oh, this is Marjorie, um, his wife. Like, can you just let him know that uh, his brother in law died this oh. morning?" And, 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 I was, <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I'm like, I'm, I'm so sorry. And she's like, it's okay. He was sick for a long time, but he passed away this morning. And, and, and I was like, and I was like, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll definitely tell him. And then I fucking got out like a yellow post-it note. <laughs> and I was like, I got to fucking make sure Joe gets this message. And I wrote it down <gasps> and I wrote like to Joe from Jason, mm -hmm. you know, and then I wrote, your brother-in-law died. Oh my God. And then I put it in his note box, <gasps> like thinking I was doing like right. a good job, you know? I was right. like, and I was like, okay. Like, and then you know, a few hours go by and he comes back from assignment and he gets his, his messages out of the box. And, I, and I'm just like watching him like, well, this is gonna He's gonna, gonna find out. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, I watched him. He's like, his what? Face. What? <laughs> Where's that fucking kid? Where's that fucking kid? I'll fucking kill him. I'll fucking kill him. He had like classic like um photog flak jacket. I was gonna say like the, camo yeah, yeah. was in the like was in Vietnam. <laughs> they used to do this thing, they used to they used to throw a dictionary behind him because he was in Vietnam and scare him. <laughs> That's some shit that only oh a Boston God. like yeah. native would go. That's fucking funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, "I'll kill that kid." And then the, the, I remember someone being like, "He's just a kid, Joe. He's just a kid." And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was so. That was just like that was a job. So that's uh, so that's a core memory from that job. Uh, yeah, I dug graves. <laughs> I was working in an insane asylum. Wait, you're going Wait, way too hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop. 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 You gotta work. Stop. You yeah. gotta make a living. You gotta okay. pay the bills. You dug <laughs> graves. Let's start there. Let's what, start came, there. what came first? I dug graves first. Okay. That's the okay. only job you could get in my town. And I was, I was trying to well, like make money. Was good. People were, yeah, people yeah. were, people were dying, yeah. dropping people like were flies. Dying. So that was actually not a bad job. I didn't really feel the, the problems with being in a cemetery all day. I, I wasn't creeped out. So you just sit there and you dig. And what, literally with a shovel. Yeah. Well, they would they would uh, do the first heart pat part with the scoop, the right? Scoop. And okay. then you would come in and. Even it out. Oh my and, God. Um, and that was a great job. It was like 300 a week. That's like, wow. That, that, that is a cash or? Uh, no, no, it was Above a check, board. but okay. no, no taxes because you're not making much. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I got a job at the state hospital in my town. There was a, a, a Medfield State Hospital. Mm -hmm. They actually shot some of Shutter Island there, I think. Oh, good. And um, creepy movie. How legitimate. <laughs> not not yeah. a good movie to watch alone. No, and, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, and, I did that. And, yeah. uh, and then they would, and my job was to cut the grass and they would, um, there was one building where the dangerous people were. Most of the people there were pretty cool, uh, but the the dangerous building they would lock me in <gasps> the dangerous building, and then as you know, they would all. <laughs> Who was they and why are they doing this? I don't know why they gave me this job. <laughs> I was like sixteen. Yeah, because how old were you? Sixteen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they locked me in, and so then um, you, you you they have an area where they can like hang. So I'm mowing their area, you know, but they're reaching, they would reach oh, out. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Stop. So so this part would never get cut because I would go there. <laughs> and the guy, would, the guy would like fuck with you. He's like, I'm not going to grab you. I'm not going to grab you. And I'd be like, I know you're going to, no, I'm not going over there. He's like, you can cut it. You can cut it. And then I'd go to cut it and he'd go <laughs> like that, you know. And uh, that, that should be in like Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. They should make you all just like walk have to have a lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> I love Horror Nights. Yeah. Yeah. Did you go this year? No, we haven't gone we in a couple years. We didn't. No, I I am. I don't do well with jump scares. Yeah. No matter no matter how much notice that I know, even though Horror Nights is literally just a night that you're signing up to get jump scared. Yeah. No matter how much notice I have, I, I'm I, screaming you have, and sweating and shivering all at the same time. I have no voice the next day. It's not my idea of fun. I haven't gone since the last time I did, and the last time I did, I made the mistake of wearing short sleeves. Allow me to explain. <laughs> she 
will be holding onto my arm the entire time. Yeah. And look at these fucking talons, just talons here. Nice. You got to nice. put on like protective gear. Yeah. You need like the dog bite grip um, oh. thing on there. Yeah, because it just. Yeah. So I, I got so scared. Like, I, I, I got scared, not because of what was going on. I was like, Jesus, stop. <laughs> Dude, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. Like, I, I, I remember. No, like, no. We, I, we were I, was, dating. I was the nightmare. <laughs> yeah, no. So I haven't gone since then, but I would go back. <laughs> the weekend did it last year. Yeah. And it was like really good. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot really about that. really well done. Yeah. Yeah, just like all these weekends, like with different statues that look like the weekend. and uh, Oh, the literal weekend. The literal weekend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, he had uh, like an exhibit in there. What's Got his name? It. Abel? Abel. Yeah. yeah. You heard about the, the the horror nights where you can like die, you have to sign your yes. life away. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. The scariest ones of those, <laughs> I feel like um, I always see articles about them is like, they're the ones that are kind of homemade in the middle of the yeah. Midwest in yes. someone's house and basement. I've been to one of those. You have? Yeah. The, like the, the, his, like the, the end part when you get almost to the end is you're all the way up in the attic. And I wish I knew what it is. And I would look it up. You all, all the way in the attic. And then to get down, you have to take this slide. And like, you know how like a, at a carnival, they kind of put you in like a burlap sack yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. There was no burlap sack really. And I remember like feeling like the edges of like where the steel was like together. And I was like, if I put my hands down a little harder, my finger would be back like, you know, three feet and it's just straight down. Oh my God. And my idiot self went first for whatever reason. And then uh -huh. you're in the basement of this little attic. Well, I guess Someone's basement house. of some haunted house, just waiting for the next person to come down. Of course they fuck <laughs> with you. And they're like, wait, the door, the door's not working. And I'm like, uh, no. I'm going to die in a $6 thrill. You uh, could not pay me. You could not pay me to do one of these. I, no, no, no. I paid. I know. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You could but not pay me. It's the Midwest. Me. There's not much to do. You, yeah, you, I get you it. Find I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay. So that was that was grave digging into the asylum, cutting. Into yeah. asylum. Asylum landscaping. Okay. Yeah. Asylum landscaping. Then what do I do? I'm starting to understand how the comedian thing happened. Uh, yeah, you know, lots of trauma. Lots we were of just talking about how <laughs> trauma can fuel the comedy behind uh, someone's content. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, that's. Okay, so then we went from insane asylum straight to comedian? Yeah, what did I do? Oh, no, then I uh, went to college. Then I worked at Saturday Night Live. Oh, that's but, cool. Yeah, I got an internship when I was- I'd love to see this resume, Joe. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, got, yeah. A, I, got, a, I got a, I applied for Dateline uh -huh. and I applied for Saturday Night Live. So I went and I had an interview at Dateline and I had an interview at Saturday Night Live. And then I was at Saturday Night Live and they were like, uh, I wasn't showing anything to be like someone you would want to hire. Or whatever. <laughs> she was like, Do you watch the show? And I was like, Yeah, I like, fucking love it. Of course. Like, I, I didn't have like good grades or anything. And then as I was walking out, the woman goes, um, Hey, can you, could you be here every day? <laughs> Are you available? Yeah. And I go, I go, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could be here every day. Like that. And she goes, Okay. You're hard. Yeah. She's like, uh, you, you, um, you got it. Something tells me that like, they're almost looking for someone who's like, let's not get too high of an achiever here. And <laughs> yeah, academically. Yeah, 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 that's right. Let's find somebody who, if we ask them tomorrow to be here, they they'll be here. Clear. I remember the other kids that were interns yeah. were really polished. They, they, really? Were, they were at Yale, they were at NYU, they were at Columbia. Wow. And those kids were only there for like one day a week or two days a week. <laughs> yeah. right. And they had shit going on. They yeah. were making short <laughs> films, you know, like right. their dads were running industries right. and and uh, and me, I had nothing going on. I was, had nothing to do but to grab here. Adam Sandler's fucking lunch, you know? <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, you know, that that works out. It's a good note in life, I guess. Oh my God, no. Be available. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you're available. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who was the SNL cast at that yeah. time when you were interning? The year I interned was like Sandler, Spade, Whoa. Farley, like the big, big, big one. Holy yeah. shit. Um, and then the second year when I got hired as an assistant, it was great. It was um, Will Ferrell, wow. Cherry O'Terry, Keckner, Tracy Morgan, um, Spade was still there. Um, and you know, it's like, it's an incredible, incredible experience. Like to just, you're on the one hand, you're like, I can't believe I'm next to these people. And then on the other hand, you're like actually learning, like they, they'll they sit there and be like, this is how you write a joke. And this is, wow. um, I, the one guy I worked for that I learned the most from was Norm MacDonald. Mm -hmm. um, uh, rest in peace. Who was just, I mean, just brilliant. Yeah. He's just like a brilliant guy. And um, so that was a big, that was like a big part of my job was just working with him and uh, organizing the jokes. And he just recently passed, right? Yeah, he just passed. Like this year? I think it was last year. Yeah, yeah he had cancer. Yeah, and um, and he's he was just the best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like is. really, really solid hands on. Yeah, but who fucking sucked? Let's be. <laughs> oh, who, who sucked out of the cast? <laughs> yeah, the cast was. They're all really nice. Yeah. 
because the, like, the cast is all very like, um, they're all talented. Yeah. They're, they all knew how talented they were. So they had no reason to like be mean to mm -hmm. a lowly intern. Some of the people that work there were, were like kind of shitty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's in every workplace too. Yeah. 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 But you know who was really nice was Lauren. Really? Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. And, uh, and always very like, um, but I had heard from the people that were worked with him, like very like let you uh, do your sketch and didn't fuck with people's sketches and shit like that. Would, would you explain who Lauren is for people that, that well, don't Lauren, know? Lauren Michaels created Saturday Night Live. Yep. Mm. And he's still there now. Yep. How many uh, years? Yeah, yeah, how many years has that been? 75 they started. Wow. So um, he was always really nice to me. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so, I mean, I, it's it's still good. I mean, I still like it. It goes through waves for me. Yeah, they yeah. just had a great mm -hmm. sketch the other day that I saw on TikTok um, where there it was two people in, in cars and they were, they had their windows up and they were talking. Did you see that sketch? No, no. I didn't see it. It was one. really funny. So there's always like good stuff coming out of there. I feel like when I see a celebrity that I really like um, do a guest spot is when like I'll tune in. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or like some of the Pete Davidson stuff I feel like has gone viral. I love Pete Davidson. And then like when Pedro- I love Pete Davidson too. When Pedro Pascal did his, yep. his, his sketches were all so fucking well, funny. he's really funny. So funny. And yeah, ever yeah, since yeah. I saw him get off, was it Hot Ones? Yes. And, and the sentence that he said to him afterwards was like, I'm finally cool to people that I care about most. Yeah. And yeah. There, there, there's very few things that can knock that guy off my list now. Yeah. Like for him to think the cameras are down and for him to be like so appreciative uh -huh. because he's doing things that like he love people he loves, like, oh, they actually know. They watch this already. Like yeah. that to me was like the coolest, like, wow. That's, yeah. that's a guy who's like appreciating the moment. It's interesting how he yeah. can play drama and he's also very funny too. Yeah. Like he's actually kind of a goof. He's yes. so funny. Yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. But I, wouldn't, I didn't know that. I thought he'd no, be I like no a idea. serious dramatic yeah. dude. Yeah, you Did you no watch idea. Last of Us? I watched the first episode, second two, two episodes. That's actually, I it was think good. that's the worst answer you could have given. You, you actually, <laughs> you got in and you stopped watching it. It's so good. I just talked to <laughs> we just Warren had this about this. Yeah. I was like, it's zombies again. It's like- It's not zombies. I told you not to watch It's amoebas. Okay, did you, did you watch episode three? <laughs> There's zombies, my man. Did you watch episode three? No. Episode, ep episode, episode <laughs> three is one of List the representation. most incredible episodes of television. It's a movie. I've seen. Yeah? Yeah. It takes you totally out of the whole yeah. zombie amoeba man situation. Okay. And it is- Incredible. No spoilers, but it, it creates the opportunity for the viewer to go, wait, this is what would happen if you were in love or trying to do something with somebody else in a world that's like falling apart. Uh -huh. And it's almost like your 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 relationship with somebody. You're not selling it. Watch episode three. <sighs> It no, is fucking was. incredible. I, was, I think I was selling it. I, it, I, get it. I, was, I was on board. I was ready to watch it. Oh, you, <laughs> you, you, stop, you almost like stop worrying about like, you stop worrying about, oh, I don't want to die. And it's like, oh, I don't want to not be with my person. Ah. Yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. I don't want to die. Like, cause like you're scared of like dying, right? Yeah, or well, cause yeah. Like, the whole show is like, is survival, survival, survival. But like episode three takes you out for a, like a, a whole, you know, hour. It might even be longer than an hour. Oh, it's it feels a like a movie. fucking movie. It's oh, yeah. a movie, yeah. It takes you out of the whole, like, like trying to survive and not get shot and eaten by a zombie or whatever into like this totally different, like Oh, that's funny line. cause that's right where I stopped. Yep. Episode three is incredible. Okay, I'll watch it. If you can make it through episode three and then you stop, let us know, because I want to just delete I'll, 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 your, I'll your no, you. I never want to speak to you. This, no, I, just, I think it's just, no, we just, it was, I remember I had just had a little edible before I was at a little weed gummy and I remember I was like halfway through and I go, I'm either really high or this is the best television I've ever Wait watched. Wait a minute, you didn't say you had weed was, was sober. involved. I was sober, I was, was sober. sober, I was sober, I was sober. Hang on, my man. <laughs> Listen, I'd watch it again sober. I've watched incredible episodes of SpongeBob on weed. <laughs> okay, all episodes of SpongeBob are incredible for the record. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. Um, but Just also, take a little bit of crystal meth yeah, and yeah. watch episode four. And then four. it's going to be super fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you heard of black tar heroin? It's this new thing. You're going to love it. <laughs> he also didn't love Ted Lasso. I get that. I don't like especially Ted Lasso. Especially, this last season's losing me. Well, I'm having wait, a really wait, hard time. Is he, is he a football coach to go coach a soccer? I don't get it. This one's losing me. <laughs> This one's losing me. I don't know. And my, my kids love it. I'm, and I really like Jason Sudeikis. I just, yeah. I just didn't get into it. The Ted Slander. I can't. I love, uh, I love Barry. That's the show that I'm loving. Yeah. Are you, are you watching it? Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. I don't want to give it away, but the way that they- I don't think you can. Jump ahead. Yeah. Oh. oh. Incredible. Have yeah. you seen the new Guardians of the Galaxy by any chance? I haven't seen it yet. 
When is it good? Whole, what, Everyone says it's great. What, no one fucking warned me that this will be the saddest movie that you see of the entire year. Oh no. In a, a good way? Right. <laughs> it's it's good. It's good. It's really it's like it's got all the same like great action and like funny character development yeah. or whatever of all the other Marvel movies, but god damn, some of the the animal stuff, I don't know. Like okay, a picture of a raccoon on a good day makes me cry. Okay, on yeah, Instagram. No, like, and so <laughs> truly. When you see a baby raccoon like Rocket's origin story, <laughs> when I tell you that I was sobbing. Lauren loves nothing more ugly in his life crying, than ugly dabbing animals. Dabbing butter napkins oh, yeah. on my face. dogs downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I walked yeah. right Makes into sense. that. <laughs> yeah. You have the two ugliest dogs. <gasps> uh, no, no, they're, yeah. they're. And that's all we have for today. <laughs> Next week on Well Till Nine. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> I was kidding. First of all, the dogs are incredible, but they are crazy looking. They are they're, they're unique. enigmatic. No, they're no, no, crazy looking. Any an animal that looks in its normal state like it needs help is Lauren's favorite thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Like a dog, like a, 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 she loves nothing. What's the overweight? Um, like capybara? No, no, no. The 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 tiger, the lion. No oh, tank. Yeah, tank. It's like a a. a I mean, he needs to cut 300 pounds. He just sits <laughs> there and is like, being, like he's being fed food all day. <laughs> and like, a, okay, it's a fat tiger. Who are you Leaf? talking about? <laughs> it's literally you're talking just about like a tiger. No, can we tiger? pull up tank? No, 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 we need to pull up tank. Um, this oh, is, this, this is like an Instagram tiger, you know? But like, this is her ideal form of an animal. <laughs> okay, on Instagram or TikTok, it's <laughs> Safari tiger? Sammy, <laughs> S A M M I E, and Tank is the name <laughs> of the. Safari Sammy. Yeah. Sorry. Actually, I think that Tank might be a uh, uh, not a tiger. What's your take on when you see these animals on TikTok that are in captivity? I go, I go back and forth. I go, well, it's kind of sad. Yeah. And then I go, ah, he's eating good. <laughs> you know? You oh, know, and look, like this, this <laughs> tank has his own pool. He gets delivered gifts. In a, po in a, in a post Harambe yeah. world, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, How I big think, can the pool be? I think a lot of the ones that are on TikTok, I, at least the ones that I feel like I'm watching are centers that have saved them from like cruel uh, yeah. circus, stuff like that. Oh, yeah, here there, we go. You could have a pool. You can also have the Serengeti. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> he's cute. He's Look really at him. cute. Do you think he's fat? He I can't don't think he's up. that fat. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Let's see how he sits up. Oh yeah, right, right. you see that? Oh, see that belly jiggle? Yeah, look at him. He's so cute. You no, know, totally. Have you guys been on safari? Um, I've been on a f not like a real D one. Uh, I've never yeah. been on a real one. Actually, Disney, you know what? The answer is no. Yeah, that's the answer like is our no. next thing we want to do. <gasps> Where? Go and go to South Africa. Like a real one. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah, just yeah. Animal Kingdom. <laughs> wait, wait, what's Animal like, Kingdom? Uh, Disney Orlando, Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Not that. Okay. No. All right. I don't like Disney. <laughs> what? Really? No, I don't like it. You just like don't want to work again or? I mean, like I'm fine with like, I like Disney Plus. Okay. Like, okay. I okay. subscribe to that. I think okay. it's a wonderful platform. Well, I love kids, all the Simpsons. So. I have the kids. I love yeah. all the Marvel stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't like going to that park. Oh, like, oh actually going to the Complete park. Complete rip off. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Nightmare. It's oh my God. It's like a thousand dollar day. It's on. Thousand uh, dollars? Yeah. Are you going by yourself and drinking water? Yeah, that's what I meant for me, per person. Yeah. Do you know what it is? It's 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 not that the park is bad. It's how everyone else thinks it's so great. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, like you're like, God. what are you guys seeing? It's a par it's an amusement park. You know what? It's the, fine. The talk that I'm on is Disney adult talk. Yeah, that yeah. That's all bizarre. the ones that just keep going over and over again. It's a lot. It's the personality. Yeah. You know what? I don't want to. I don't want to yuck someone else's yum. But <laughs> yeah. I, I can't imagine how much people spend. If you're a Disney adult, I cannot imagine how much yeah. money. Okay, spend. but like, okay, that better than a gambling addiction. That's true. Mm. You might save money having a gambling you. addiction. Okay. I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get close it. one. Close Sorry. one. Sorry, I don't one. know how we got on this tangent, but yeah, great. Got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how did we even get here? I don't even remember. I don't know. Anyways, um, so you're South Africa, so a real one. You know, the closest thing that I've done to anything like this is that I was in uh, uh, where's Tyler Perry's um, Atlanta. Atlanta. I was in Atlanta, and I had a tiny little cameo in a Tyler Perry movie. And you we did. Had, and I, we had. Was a, it the one that Liza was in? Um, it was the, so she was in Boo number one, uh -huh. Medea Halloween, I was in Boo two. Oh, <laughs> got it. Because the sequels Very are close. obviously always better. Did you have a line? I think I had one line. That's cool. I still, I still get residuals. Do you? Yeah. How was Tyler Perry? Is he so there? nice. Great. He was so nice. Like he genuinely made time to talk to every single person and he had like flown in all these influences to be part of this movie. Right. And he literally looked at me and he was like, do you want a line right now? And I was like, I would love a line right now, sure. Like, and I was just there to like be a part of it. I it was just fun. real quick, if any, if I 
thought it was any other like room with entertainment. If someone said, do you want a line right now? It certainly. <laughs> You're so right. Like, yeah. Only yeah. in your world yes. did that mean what, it, like, yes. what you thought of Exactly it. what the meant. Yeah. Yes. The fact yeah. that you were right on, I would have been like, yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 So sorry. fine. Not what I meant. Not too cold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? And he's like, okay, he just walks away. Yeah, I mean, Whatever. it was like one in the afternoon and we had cameras up and stuff. But anyways, he was so amazing. He was so kind and funny and personable and, and like a warm human being. But what I was going to say is that we had a day off and we had taken my friend's rental car to one of those like drive through safaris yeah. where they give you all what? like the- In Atlanta? Yeah. The drive through And like when I say safari, I mean that they've got like oxes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And like zebras that stick their head in- Oh, zebras are native to Georgia. Of that course. Makes, yes, exactly. Makes sense. And they give you the pellets and they come into your car as you're driving and it is- yeah. Slightly terrifying, a little alarming. Which which animal was scariest? Um, I would say probably the the, the ox. Is it the ox? ox yeah, the yeah, ox yeah. that has yeah. the big yeah, the yeah, big yeah. things on oh, the yeah. side. I don't want that yeah. in my my jeep. Like Wrangler. I just saw a TikTok the other day of someone on safari, and this like lioness like got in the car. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, and it's like, whoa. And they were like, oh, a really friendly lion, just like hop it on into the safari and you just have to yeah. like stand so still that, in That's your cool seat. till like it wants to get out and it can't get out. Well, it's like one of those open side safaris. Yes, it's open. Yeah, and it just like gets in. See, like I just think to myself in situations, tomorrow at five o'clock, I'm going to be on local news as the kid <laughs> who, got, who got ripped to shreds yeah. because of this open safari that I wanted to go to. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And like, that was a real one. Like that was like in the wild. I'm pretty sure that TikTok. Yeah. yeah. That shit was Hard wild. Pass. Speaking of things in the wild, uh, new kids. No, I, 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 I want to talk about um, this, this, this kid adventure that we hopped on uh, yeah. before the pod started. Go ahead, kid adventure. No, no, uh, well, do you want to tee up any of that? I know we have some family and, and, and wedding things we should talk about first. Yeah, we got lots of family and wedding things to talk about. Um, but Can so we talk about wedding things? Please, Yeah, I'm getting married. <laughs> I so am getting married. And this, okay, let's do another cut. And this, this time, let's add some excitement to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What the fuck do you want from yeah, me? I'm getting married. What do you want me to say? I'm getting married. I'm getting married. <laughs> that was good. I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm excited about Congrats. it. I'm excited about it. I don't, like, did, I don't like to do anything, but but sure, I'll get married. How did you, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so give us the background for people who haven't watched, because you did a podcast episode with your fiance, Naveen. And I it was, posed in Playgirl, and my yes. fiance <laughs> found the magazine and, yes. at a Rite Aid. And was like, this one? Yeah, and then suddenly I got a phone call. Mm -hmm. and the uh -huh. next day I was summoned to a big mansion. Wow. Right. And, uh, no, no. Um, <laughs> no, we met in a dating app. Oh, which one? Uh, the, uh, you know, the the one, the, the snooty one. Oh, Raya. Yeah. We're yeah. always shocked when like yeah. that works. I, b bro, I am with you. Yeah. I am with you. The I used, waste of an app. Yeah. yeah. The no, waste, it's awful. the biggest waste ever. But uh, like I met her like two years ago and then was completely in love with her. Didn't think I ever had a shot. She was traveling the world. Mm -hmm. And then like, I like, this is, I, I think this is really important for guys to hear. Like, really, like, listen to a girl if she says something. What do you mean? Like, because I remember she invited me to go to Puerto Rico. She's like, you should come meet me in Puerto Rico. And I was just like, what? I was like, no, I'm not going to divorce myself on your Puerto Rico. Before you had met? Yeah, no, we'd gone on a few dates. Okay. But I was mm -hmm. in love with her. But I just didn't think, like, that would be cool for me to show up in Puerto Rico. Right. But then now that I'm with her, she's like, I was waiting. I was waiting for you <gasps> oh to come to Puerto God. Rico. Wow. And I was like, huh. I didn't know that. So anyways, two years go by and thought about her every day. Used to stare at her Instagram. Uh, <laughs> and then she wouldn't post that much. And then when she would post, it'd be like Christmas. Be oh, like, the best day ever. I'm like, I might tell my friends, like, she posted, she posted, she posted. She posted. And, uh, and then um, I'm just like driving in July of last year. And I got a text from her and it was like Ray Liotta and Goodfellas. You know, I was just like, yes, yeah. You know, just screaming. And, and, um, and I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how I got so lucky and I don't know. You're so in love. It's literally the cutest thing ever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah if you I, can tone it down, I'm, I'm gonna start to look bad. So just chill <laughs> out real quick. I know, I feel bad. I feel bad. I make the, everybody feel bad. No, no, we, no. we feel bad it's that we're so, so in love. It's so wholesome and cute. And like like the way that even just candidly before we started recording, you're just like, I just never thought that I'd find like a person. Never. Like, yeah, like that is so sweet. Never, I'm, I'm be 50 years old in three weeks. Okay. And like, pretty much was resigned. Like, oh, I'll never, yeah. I'll never meet anybody. And I'm fine with that. You know, like mm -hmm. no worries, no problems. Hey, I had my fun, whatever. Had a, had a marriage, had a 
two great kids. I'm good. And, uh, and then, yeah, you just don't know it. Life is so funny mm -hmm. and, and you, you get so lucky in life. Just well, keep, just keep showing up. Well, I mean, my question really is then how do you think about finding love and being so happy about where you are? And in comparison to knowing what also getting married is like before, like, is it a different feeling? Oh, is yeah. it similar? Like, how's that contrast? Yeah. The, 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 you know, the difference is before I married my opposite mm -hmm. and now I'm with the exact, I'm with myself. I, the exact same. Interesting. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, for the longest time, every single person I dated, was like, I need to date the opposite. I need someone to balance me out. And it never <laughs> worked. Why do we think that? It never worked. It's the worst. But why do yeah, we think who, that? Who what, told like, us that? We all right. said it, opposites attract. Yeah, opposites it attract. It is the worst, which basically means you're going to be with someone you're going to disagree with. Every, right. About everything. About everything. About when to leave. Yep. Well, how, what to what to stock your fridge with? How long it takes? To uh, everything. Get, yeah. Literally Where are you everything. Go, what it's you're crazy. Gonna watch? Yeah. Um, and uh, and my ex wife's great. She's awesome. Right. Mm -hmm. And I I love her to death. But she's just she's just completely different. Yeah. 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 Um, no, I the same thing. It was so deeply ingrained in me that I needed to be like someone that would balance me out. That would be the type B to my type A. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like mellow me out. But it just never fucking worked. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when well, I was with my ex wife we'd go to parties and I would be the one that was talking to everybody, mm -hmm. you know, and like kind of like getting her started so she could talk to everybody and which was fine. And, and but now Naveen is like, she's just like me. So I don't, I don't have to do all the lifting. You know yeah, what I mean? Totally. It's like, Oh, she's, she's lifting it right now. Right. I can take a break, you know? And yeah. it, it's great. It's like, I'm so happy. So lucky. I don't even know. And I can't even believe she's with me. Like, and that's, that's for real. Mm -hmm. Every day when I look at her, cause you know, my, my friend David, he does, he did a lot of pranks mm -hmm. in his day. Uh, and, um, and I would say to her, like, I literally would say, it. I'd be with her like late at night and I'd be like, is this a prank? Like, you're not going to like be like, surprise. Yeah. Like, is this, a, is this like the, <laughs> oh is this the ultimate prank? <laughs> is this like a year long <laughs> oh prank? Oh my God. That someone's going to come yeah, out and be yeah. like, ah. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. She doesn't he love thought you. you. <laughs> he thought she liked him. <laughs> uh, so I still think that. Like you know? Howie Mandel's going to pop out. Yeah. He's like, we yeah. got him, folks. We got him. The last yeah. two Howie years. Mandel. Yeah, I would love it. <laughs> and here's the documentary. Sit down. Yeah. And, and what, what is great about that is that I'll never take it for granted. Yeah. For sure. Ever. Because I can't even believe I'm here. Right. And I always say, I'm like, if you walked out the door tomorrow, I'd, I'd be like, okay, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd be like, eh, well, yeah, of course you should go. Yeah. You can do it way better. Right. Uh, and so, uh, so that makes you go, it uh, makes you like appreciate every day. Even if you like the other day I came home, I was in a bad mood and I was in my car and I sat in my car for like three minutes just to be like, okay, let's be in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because right. I am not going to do remember. that. Huh? If you didn't do that, you're going to walk in, in the bad mood. <laughs> yeah. And then right. just like, why is he bringing everyone down right yeah, now? Yeah. And that, and old me, younger me would have done that. Like a younger me would have come in and been like, fuck this, a fucking bad day. Yeah. You know, and now, and now like, I don't even tell her bad news. I don't want her. My, I have a, um, I have a producer who like, uh, who works at the house, like, and, and she'll, the other day she sent something like, she's like, she called me the, like a brand passed on something. She's like, they don't want to do it like that. But she said it in front of my fiance. Right. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I pulled no her aside. Energy. I was like, I don't say that shit in front of me. <laughs> yeah. You know, just only good energy. All but good energy. energy. Yeah. But like, do you think that you could have this appreciation for her if you didn't have an experience before in life? We no. you, like, yeah. you think you almost had to fuck it up, right? I didn't fuck it up. Yeah, fuck it up. Not, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, like you're just like young and dumb and you yeah. like you have you have ideas about like where you're going to go yeah. and what you where what you should be doing and the nice thing about being older is like you're like, "Oh, there's no I don't have anywhere to be." Yeah. Like even today you guys are fixing the cameras. I was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you were like, I got all day. Looks yeah. good to me, but if you want to do it, change it. All good. Yeah. yeah, and that's the best way to be in life is yeah. is to uh, just like sit back and and not and not worry about anything. It's such a useless. My friend once said that to me. You know, he oh, he said it about guilt. Guilt is the most useless thing because they can't feel it. Like, let's say you're guilty yeah. mm -hmm. about something you did or whatever. And she doesn't feel that you feel it. Unless that you should be guilty about it, then you should be wallowing <laughs> oh, in that yeah. guilt. Yeah, see, remember, we're still young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, st we still have energy to burn. Yeah. yeah you guys we, are we, still young. We constantly get the, um, we, we do like hotlines quite often. And about 99.8% of the people who listen to this podcast are uh, female, mm -hmm. about five years older or younger than her. Yeah. And like the stories that people like submit are just like, 
Oh, God. Guys men are, trash. are infuriating. But also they're, they're almost they're like they are they are their own worst enemy. Yeah, yeah guys are yeah. yeah. Guys are and something. so like on one half the like <laughs> on one side, I'm so I'm so like excited hearing this from you about the wisdom, but I'm right. also like, fuck. You're turning 50 this year, so like, is it going to take that long for some guys to get there? I'm like, God damn it! Yeah, I yeah. think some guys will never get there. Oh, totally. Yeah, that's so true. You're yeah. so right. It's yeah, kind of right. maybe, maybe, maybe when they're 40. Um, there was a moment at the very beginning of us dating where I we had I gone can't on wait for this. just a couple dates. No, and I was in Vancouver. Like, so we both lived in LA still, but I was in Vancouver, and I was like, you should come to Vancouver. And it was one of those moments, and he was like. Okay, and we yeah. have been dating for literally six seconds. He got on a plane to spend like 36 hours in Vancouver with me, but it was just one of those things That's that like- huge. Yeah, exactly. So huge. And you know, like you, ha you have to like, kind of believe in yourself to go do that. And I don't think I, I didn't believe in myself with her because mm -hmm. like she's so pretty or whatever. And I was just like, well, this, this girl doesn't want anything to do with me. Mm -hmm. You know, so that, that's a huge and thing. she was waiting. She was waiting. She was waiting. But guys, guys are <laughs> trash, but also let me bring this up. Girls are a little crazy. Say more. Yeah. Say uh -oh. more. Uh -oh. Let's see. Uh -oh. can, we, can we do a man cave uh -oh. section right now? We can. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. we'll, be, we'll be back in a moment. <laughs> this guy, I have a friend. This happened. And she was like uh, dating my friend. Mm -hmm. And she would, would text like everybody. Like I didn't, it's hard to say, but like she was, Texting her friend everything that they did sexually. Of course. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like no, that's a lot. Like that. I thought that was really fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Like well, why do, guys wouldn't do that. Well, it's funny because like I thought that's the stereotype. Like, oh, you're gonna go tell all your friends. And I was literally thinking this the other day. I was like, actually, that was never an issue. Like, let me go run and tell everybody all yeah. the things that I'm doing because then it's like then I got like that's out there. Sorry, you, you have a question. I have my hand raised. Yes. Um, I will say, I think that girls do share much more, but I think it's in a different context yeah. than guys. I think a lot of times when you think of guys telling their friends, it's in the energy of like, oh, and then I fucked her from behind, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know what I mean? And right. it's like that, but with, with girls, sometimes they'll be like, oh, was it normal that this happened? Or like, have you, has this ever hurt when you guys did this? Uh, like, uh, oh, I, I think see. that when there's more details involved, it's not, it's never, not to say that there's not guys who are like, hey, does do you grow a third <laughs> nut whenever you try this? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like guys just like aren't as vulnerable when they're like asking for, more intimate like advice or uh, something like that. I see, yeah. So even if she is like giving the full recap of everything, I mean, listen, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Maybe she was fucking crazy and it wasn't in like a good context, right, right, but right. I definitely probably share more of what Jeremy and I do sexually with friends than Jeremy would ever share with his Me. friends. But from a position of like, da da da, Why? you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, women do for sure have this like innate, like. Like I'll share, like, I feel like guys are very like, I'll share the high and I'll share the low, but in the middle, nothing, nothing is ever discussed. Yeah. And girls like, but then like the, the feelings and the thought and all that's like the things that I would have just never shared with another man ever. So, yeah. I, I mean, I think, I think female friendships are also just different. We have this conversation all the time. Is that like we, who was it that was it? Betty White, who was talking? No, not Betty White. <laughs> <laughs> so all Betty White talked about it was, was cock. Yeah. <laughs> it's just unbelievable and fingering. It was Jane Fonda. Yeah. Oh, it was Jane Fonda, who was saying similar that Similar to like, Betty White. Similar, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Who like female friendships are very much focused in like talking about how things that are happening around us and how they impact us and how it makes us feel or whatever is like, uh, you know. So maybe that's why they do it. Where when uh, male friendships that, you know, meet up and chat, they're talking about just what's happening around them. It's funny period. when it's funny when you like you, you talk to a guy friend and he's like, Oh yeah, man, I I, I banged her out and she, she sucked my dick and then and then like three months later it, she's his girlfriend. <laughs> I just I, I saw a yeah. bit on this the comedian <laughs> and how it's crazy afterwards, like yeah. how you have to shift your perspective as a friend when you yeah, yeah, yeah. heard you have to like backtrack yeah. mentally. <laughs> to she's adjust. great. I thought you said she was a whore, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, but what happened to the three or foursome in Cabo with you and your buddies? Is yeah, that like yeah. not weird now? But or? I'm so happy for you yeah, and I can't wait for the wedding. Yeah. 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 So how did you propose going on a more wholesome path? Uh, quick story. Uh, or I mean, we're in a podcast. You can give us the longer story if you yeah, want she, to. She, she was, we went to some event and they, they, they had screenwriters there writing scripts. Oh of, my God. Uh, yeah. When they do that little, it's like an activation thing, yeah, right? An activation. Yeah. So they, she, a, a guy sitting there, a real typewriter. Wait, I think you guys are, you guys know what you're talking about. No, I've never 
been to whatever it is. Okay, you guys there was to. a movie called so, Babylon. Okay, got it. And so they had like a screening one night. Okay. And they have screenwriters with old fashioned typewriters yep. and you can walk over to them and give them a story and they'll write you one a one page script. Okay. Or the, it'll be like- In real time. They'll write yeah. like, oh, a poem about you or whatever. So like what we like do with ChatGPT, but yes, with a human. Yes. Yeah. Got it. So got my, so she, she did one and, and mine was, it was really funny. It was like, you know, Jason uh, sees Naveen across the dance floor and it's the most, he realizes she's the most beautiful woman she's ever seen. And mm. my, my fiance has a high opinion of herself, and, um, <laughs> which is really funny. As she should. Yeah, she should. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, blah, 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 blah. And, and then at the end of the script, Jason asks her to marry her and Naveen says no. <laughs> and that was the joke. Mm -hmm. Right. So I thought it was really funny because I knew she wanted to get married mm -hmm. like right away, mm -hmm. which was, I was like, okay. And, uh, and so then I, uh, we went to the peninsula one night, got the ring, blah, 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 blah. And I wrote a six page script screenplay okay. of us meeting and all the things that we did and blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the script, as she's reading it, it says, Jason asks Naveen to marry her. And she laughs like, ha, 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 ha. And then I got on my knee, <gasps> put the ring out. And she was like, is this a joke? Is this a joke? And I was like, no, no, it's not a joke. And then that was a, uh, yeah. Well, oh, you both think the other person could be just like fucking with each other at like at, at all times. At all times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. She, she thinks that I'm going to leave and I think she's going to leave. It's a beautiful uh, thing you guys Yeah, that's a beautiful it's thing. I know, seriously. Yeah. It's like reverse Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Did you? No, had like had you guys talked about obviously this seems like did you ring shop together or did you know what she wanted? Uh no. No. no, no. <laughs> okay. Just just a guess. She, she's great because she doesn't care about that uh -huh. as much. You know, she's I just, care. Like, I just yeah. we, have, we know. Yeah, we, are. Yeah, we all yeah, know. Yeah, she didn't she didn't <laughs> care. I just got something of a good size and that was it. Amazing. Yeah, it always yeah, comes yeah, down to size, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she lies to me about my penis, but that's I, okay. Yeah. That's, is that <laughs> is that normal, not normal? About what? To lie to your significant other about their penis. <laughs> clip that's, it. That's <laughs> clip it for TikTok. That's a yes. Clip that. That's a yes. Yeah. That is a yes. Wait, I, what are you supposed to say? Well, is, she comes in and she and and you know maybe she's not looking her best that day. I, You're I still gonna go. You look fucking yeah, great. Exactly. Thank I can you. See it right now, and how many penises have you seen? Me? No. <laughs> one. 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 And is it the best one you've ever seen? Yes. That's right. Next Just topic. one? Just yeah. one. Just me. Yep. Just one. <laughs> Born again virgins. I don't yeah. believe that. <laughs> yeah. So then she, you guys want a wedding soonish. Have you started looking at venues, dresses, all the things? Yeah, we went and looked at a dress. It was like $14,000. Hang on, hang on. Guys, oh, hold on, stop, stop, stop. So you didn't go ring shopping with her, but you went dress shopping with her? Well, I needed a Snapchat that day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know everyone was like, you're not supposed to be there. Yeah, you're not supposed like, to be there. Uh, I'm paying for it. I'll, I'll be here. <laughs> that, I feel like that, 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 breaks, that breaks all of the cardinal rules okay. here. Of I know, but really, but it's 2023. Not traditional. Robots are about to take over the world. Are we right. really concerned? You're going to see yes, the dress yes. on the wedding day? You gotta it doesn't home. matter. You want to stay home. Uh, get out of here. Okay, so you went. <laughs> get out of here, Lord, you went. Lord DIY. <laughs> you went. By the way, I'm not going with you, even if you want to be too. Absolutely the fuck not. You're not going with me. It's so fun. They bring you tea. You chat. What? This again with the tea? They usually drink. Bring you champagne. Yeah, I mean champagne. I mean we don't. <laughs> I don't drink, but, but yeah. I mean it's fun. You should go. I mean if you don't want to, you're go, not no. fucking invited. <laughs> like you're inviting me. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. You should go. You should go. It's good. Yeah, remember it's how you fun. said I'll, you had nothing to do? I have something to do. I yeah. am not going. Yeah, yeah, I have something to do. I would go be a supporter for you to be a supporter for your fiance, but my own that seems like a lot. Yeah, yeah. Just sit there. This is breaking all the rules, and I don't support any of it. I don't support any of it. Uh, okay. So you're old fashioned like that. I'm old fashioned only with this, I uh, think. Yeah. yeah. Fuck on the first day, but you cannot. You can fuck on the first <laughs> day, but you day, cannot, but you come cannot to, like, dress see the dress. Will you, sense. will you let him see you before the wedding that day or no? Oh, the in person? Look? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just, you will. just not in the dress. Just not the, not in the dress. Yeah, you do your first look or whatever, but yeah, you can see my. The first look's not in the dress? The first look is in the dress. What's first look? First look is like when you are like all done up with all your stuff in your dress and then you do like a little turnaround moment. Uh, That's the first before look. Before the ceremony? Uh, a lot of people do it before the ceremony so that you can have like a moment beforehand. I don't want that. You want it, you want it during, we haven't had this, this is happening live right now. Yeah, no, could you, you just hold on real quick? During, we have, we have, yeah, yeah, you want there. it yeah. during the ceremony? I don't want to see you in the dress until doors open. Really? And yeah, and you hey walk guys, in. guys, it's getting really awkward. <laughs> can you come and pick me up? Yeah, These yeah. These guys are fighting. That's exactly how I feel. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't, yeah, the first look, it ruins it. 
Okay. Because because I because honestly, I know that there's going to be a money line on whether or not I'm going to cry or not. And if I've already seen you, yeah, that's going to really make the odds go one way or the other. And I don't like that. Like I want it to be fair. Okay. Yeah. I was doing a really unfunny bit. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> but someone will appreciate it. I, no, I, 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 yeah, I, I don't want to see you okay, until. Okay, yeah. No, that's, that's totally fine. I don't have a preference. Um, I do. Okay. Yeah. Wow. See, look, old fashioned. What do you What do you love about him? I'm How much little... time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go grab some coffees. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at that hairline. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Literally <laughs> tall with hair. That's what she wanted. Tall in hair. Yeah. Those are two great You attributes. got great hair. Uh, it's hanging in there. Yeah, yeah you like, do have that's, hair. A, that's a bigger compliment for you than me. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you mean, Rogaine? Not at all. Oh, good. But I feel like I didn't realize at age 25 that the 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 hair to not hair was going to start happening to all of my friends. Oh my god, yeah, it's crazy. Overnight, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah Zane Sucks Zane, like his for them. Third yeah, Zane's had, had, had yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keeping them in business. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, how many people at the wedding? Um, I don't know. 200. <laughs> okay, 200? Like I thought 200. you wanted to keep it. Think about all the people we know. Like, like, think about you. Like, Dude, how many know, people have so you met hard. and doing, and you too? Like, that are worth $1,000? Yeah, <laughs> very, <laughs> very few. Very few. But then you, you, you know, you have to cut people and you it's can't hard. do that. It's hard. I mean, that's the hardest part is like the friendly acquaintance category is the hardest category. Yeah. Because sometimes it's people that you still see often enough, but you might not have like an intimate friendship with them. Yeah. But it's like, it's that tier that is so hard that it's like, oh my God, fuck this. Oh, you also have to make the the like, the decision kind of in advance, yes. like months and months. Yeah, and then there's this, the fun quotient. There's people you're not close with that are just super fun. Right, okay, that you and want like, there. Yeah, you gotta come. Yes, but but they don't have to come. They don't have to. <laughs> don't have Wait, to so like, okay, I feel like we're, we're let, me, let me let me salesman ask this okay, question. Okay. What part of the wedding do you care about? Great question. Uh, just her being happy. That's all I okay. care about. You know, and then I, I I care about the ceremony. Her being happy. I care about. The, the reception, the dancing, yep. mm -hmm. the band, mm -hmm. yep. uh, the food. Um, I care about all of it. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. So, so that's a, that's yeah. like all like the main ingredients I feel like of a solid yeah. wedding. I mean, what do you care about? You care about all of it? What, what she cares about? Right. Literally. Like, I, right. Yeah. Like, I, we haven't run into a thing that she's been like, and then I want to do this that I've been like, oh, that's a, a completely mm -hmm. different page. Right. Like the, there are few, very few things I'm going to be that opinionated on. She probably knows what they are better than me anyway. So yeah. I'd much rather be excited about the trajectory that she's taking this because she's grabbed it by the balls in the best of ways and just uh -huh. be, just support that. Excited, amazing, great. That's great. Yeah. Mm. I, it's it's tough. I would elope, but I think I can get a really good video out of it. <laughs> so. Oh, the content for months. <laughs> it, actually, yeah, and all my friends can get great content. That's right. true. Like, so that when everybody's dressed generous. up, like- mm. That is very it, generous. Uh, you know, it would be rude wedding. for you not yeah. to <laughs> yeah. allow your friends to monetize this opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to do a no phone ceremony and then everyone can have their phones afterwards? Or are people going to be just fucking live streaming the whole thought thing? I about that. Yeah. yeah, I would say no live streaming. Yeah, that would probably be good. Yeah. No live streaming. <laughs> okay. That would be a funny rules. announcement. But, but what what deal would make that do, maybe change? Like, yeah, like wait, how much for a live stream? Yeah, I'll live stream <laughs> the wedding. Well, if they want to pay me, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, saying yeah. like you yeah. guys can't live stream uh, it. <laughs> we wanted to do a really funny joke. Well, maybe it won't be funny, but <laughs> we have, a joke. We yeah, have, yeah, go ahead. Go we have ahead. this one friend, Joe Volpus, and uh, we. I, what I wanted to do was go up there and call every male up to be my best man except him. <gasps> no. And then at the very end, call his uh, his fiance up. <laughs> we think that'd be really funny. That's funny. So you can we can all the uh, best men come up? David, Zane, Todd. I'm too everyone. sensitive for this. Yeah, I'm too sensitive for this. That's, I mean, it's funny. Are you guys going to do the whole wedding party situation? Uh, what is that? Like the the maid of honor, the best man, the groomsman, um, the bridesmaid. I think my son will be my groom. My 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 oh. my, my, uh, my your best man. Yeah, my best. Oh, best man. that's sweet. So uh, speaking of kids with new girlfriend, fiance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that like? Um, Wait, stop. Well, we don't. Have we forgot. We need. We need to. We <laughs> forgot to, to to tee this whole thing up. Yeah. You are the very first. Dad. Oh, really? That we've had in the podcast. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Yes. I mean, first, first parent, period. First parent. Right? I don't think we've had another guest that's had an offspring at all. That they knew about? or at least, Your mom. Or maybe. Oh, uh, yes, my mom. That does count. Yeah. Yeah, she yeah. did. Zane, okay. has, Zane has kids. He just doesn't talk about them. <laughs> I, like, what's funny is someone's going to go, yeah. Yeah. I always knew it. I knew yeah. it. I knew it. I knew it. Zane, I mean, it is a family in Ohio. I mean, with DNA <laughs> tests going as much as they are, everyone's going to have a couple kids. Okay, but no, but I, uh, for, as the dad, yeah. what's that like? Like, be like, hey, uh, 
you're it's not a new mom, but dad's getting married. But oh, it's, oh, oh, what's that like for yeah. them? I think they were a little like, oh, at first, right? Because it, it went fast. Um, but um, she's just like a value added person. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. she's like she just like uh, ordered ordered my son breakfast this morning. Like she's just like really in it right. and and wants to help and and loves it. Yeah, and she's like not uh, she's not somebody that like is like into her career. Right. She wants to write a book. She has a really good idea for a book and she's written books before. So she'll probably do that at some point, but she's mm-hmm. just not like, so that's really nice. Yeah. You know? Um, and it, it, it's, I think it's been good. Yeah. It's probably kind of the perfect age too, since your kids are starting to be independent as well too. So they're not like forced into like family right. outings. Right. Yes. Et cetera. Like that's what I said to my kids. I was yeah. like, look, I was like, you guys aren't around anymore. Mm. <laughs> like you literally blow me off every yeah. weekend. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to, you know, I, it's nice for me to have somebody. And they were like, yeah, you're right. So you're yeah. just going to sit there and wait for us? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I do worry about the like hot stepmom thing uh, a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Which is, you Because know, you're from Boston. Yeah. And you, you know, what? you know what your friends would have said. <laughs> if, if your mom or your dad had brought around somebody hot right. and you lived in Boston. Right. Well, that's you a, know that's what they a said. whole porn hub category for sure. Yeah. Like I, sometimes like my son's friends are over and I'm like, uh, oh, is this weird? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah. is strange. Yeah. Yeah, but it's funny. It's like most kids would be like, no, nah, my dad doesn't think about that. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. Well, I don't want to. Like last night we were going to sleep and I gave my son a hug. And then I was like, oh, wait, is she going to give him a hug? Like, wait, and, and like she didn't. But then my daughter will give her a hug. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. So it's kind of weird. Yeah. But yeah. She also probably seems like she would understand like how to navigate the dynamic as well too, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. probably even like more natural than you. You're thinking about it, and she's like, she, "We, we so, hugged." She says the craziest stuff. We'll like drop my like daughter off to like a party. She's like, "Oh, she's gonna be making out in like ten minutes." And I'll be like, "No, <laughs> she's don't fucking say with that. you." She's yeah, like, "Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you see the guy." You know back what? There? Though, that's good though. She'll probably give you the reality check though yeah. to like know yeah. what's happening. Yes, 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 because yeah. yes, 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 yes. she knows the reality. Of- Are your kids still in they can do no wrong mode? Is that like where your head's at with them? Um, they can do no wrong. Yeah. Okay, got it. But yeah. they're, they're they're actually good kids. Yes. Yeah. My I mom, mean, I'm the problem. My mother is convinced I'm a virgin still, I'm pretty sure. So, and, and mom, you're correct. Yeah. She, why does she think, you, do you, you, that's the second time you've mentioned your mother in a strange way. Do you have an <laughs> odd relationship with her? I don't think it's any more odd than anybody else's mom. Too. Are you too close? Well, no. it was, she, I was raised by a single mother. Oh, so she's mom and you dad. You didn't have to say that. I could tell you by could tell talking that. to you. Yeah, like, but like we never had birds he's and got, bees talk. He's you're, got you're, no dad trauma energy. You're, you're, way, t- you're way too connected. <laughs> like, but, like there's, but we just never had like a- Like when he talks to you, he's very like connected. He also worked in sales. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with any, By the way, by the Okay. That's really funny. That's what it is. I'll, I'll, That's I'll, what it is. I'll point out the way that you uh, like positioned how girls talk about fucking sex with each other uh-huh. in like the most positive manner. I was sitting here going, I'm so proud of her right now. Oh, she is just debunking this. It's total bullshit, but she's nailing it right, right. now. No, it's not bullshit. No, of course. We don't need to circle back. We don't need to circle back on that. But anyway, go ahead. Uh, I don't know what I was saying. We yeah. have like five topics you could choose from that we just hit. But I know. Ahead. So we got, we've got no dad, your relationship with your mom. They're definitely not too close. I would say, I mean, like, what's your relationship with like your mom, with your mom? Uh, every two weeks we talk. Every two weeks they talk. And I would say okay. that it is, it's, I would say it's come a long way. You guys are in a good place. Yeah, we're great. Perfect example of like, you get out from the house. She's not paying your bills anymore. Right. Everything becomes peachy. Uh, yeah. I see. Yeah, so yeah. like while we were there, it was like, she, like my priority list would have been the exact opposite of hers. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I think it's only because she's just like, if you don't become a lawyer, you will be homeless. It's like, like mm-hmm. it's a real could fear. Have, could have been a thing. Yeah. She had high stakes. I feel like on, on the college. Yeah, route. She had, uh, the, the route she wanted me to take was the yes. statistically solid one for the 1990s. I think that's a big mistake. Parents. Made. I think it's a huge mistake. Mm-hmm. Putting any kind of bet on what their kids are going to do or what they should do, yeah. you don't know. And and so that's why I'm just like, I don't know, man. And I don't want my kid to go to college. I don't think he should go to college. <laughs> Say I, more. I used college <laughs> as a uh, way to buy more time while I made YouTube videos. Jeremy also didn't finish. <laughs> but you, no, you did finish. I finished. Yes. But yes. I literally used it to buy time as I built my YouTube career. And then the day that I graduated, ah, I went full time. That's great. It, so it, it worked out well because, you know, I have a 
agree to fall back on. But yeah. like, did I, I didn't go to any. I'd love to see your professional resume. <laughs> oh, it's not much. <laughs> you know, like, like awards for things that like every hiring manager is like, I don't know what the, I don't know what, that what is. is. <laughs> what are the webbies? You said streamies. Yeah, <laughs> the webbies. Yeah. Can you operate Best Salesforce? Crafts category, 2017, <laughs> yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yes. <laughs> Competition yeah. wasn't very stiff. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it wouldn't be great. Um, but yeah, he he could lock in with you because he doesn't have a dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. And he was in sales. I think it's right. more the sales thing. It's the sales thing. We all get our trauma from somewhere. Yeah, my, yeah. My, my father, I had a father, but yeah, I have father issues. That's a, that's a way to describe somebody. Yeah, yeah. I had a father. I have, I have a father. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he wasn't like, he's, I just have my issues with him, but he's great. You good now? Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you just get to the point where you're like, oh yeah, he's he he had his own problems. Right. Totally. I think as you get older too, <laughs> yeah. you realize that. Yeah, it's good when people realize that. They're like, um, wait, so does Naveen, do you and Naveen having kids, like what's that conversation like? <laughs> She's like, I want to have kids. And mm-hmm. I'm like, all right. <laughs> okay. And that's yeah. it. I'll just I mean, be what on the internet. Be alone. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, is like my friends are like, You're crazy. You're gonna have kids, you're just finished having kids. Yeah. And then I just, I just love her so, so mm-hmm. much that it's like, and if I said like, I don't want to have kids, she'd be like, okay, and she, then she would stay. But I don't know. I would put, I would pose this to your audience. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't, do think there's, I don't think there's anything wrong with like, if you love somebody so much, right. And mm-hmm. you're like, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. No matter what, mm-hmm. I'll like do anything for you. Maybe she like really, really wants kids a hundred percent. And I'm kind of like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think, so. I think it's also okay from your position because you've done yes. it twice. I think it's one thing if someone just like fully doesn't want a dependent yes. and an offspring. I think that's one wow. thing. I didn't think about that. Couldn't agree more. But I think because- yeah. like, It's a good point. You've, yeah. you've done this. And yeah. also- Twice. I'm always guilty of saying this, which is having kids is the best thing you'll do in your life. Really? There is nothing better and I'm not a sappy guy. Mm-hmm. There is nothing better. There's no amount of enjoyment that a YouTube career could bring you or a sales career or <laughs> your dogs. You okay. know, when I see you guys with your dogs, it's comical. <laughs> you, they're very cute. And the pictures on the wall are lovely. And I know you guys go to little parties and you have your drinks. <laughs> I told my dog before. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, if there was a shark in a pool, okay. And your kid goes in the pool, you dump it in. If there's a shark in a pool and one of your dogs goes in that pool. Lauren's pushing me in. <laughs> Are you going in? Yes. You're going in? Are yeah. you kidding me? For the you, dog? No, not a single you, hesitation. You, you picked the wrong analogy here for yeah, Lauren. So you're going in with the shark? Uh, not a single second of hesitation. You know what? I, I, I apologize. I yeah. take it back. I understand dog love. Like I get it. <laughs> but you'll see when you have kids, it, it, it is, it's another level of, I think, than the dog. Well, I've always, I feel like I've always um, kind of, understood that having a pet, cause this is the first time I've ever had a dog as well too. Oh, okay. Is that like, this is, this feels like um, a level of preparation. Yeah. I think for yes. having a kid. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a little warm up. And also too, like I never understood the kind of um, unconditional love cause I've never had a proper pet before. Even growing up, we didn't have a family dog or anything. Oh. So like, this is the first time I've ever had unconditional love for like an animal who like might poop in the house or throw up on me. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right, so right, this right. is like child light. It's cute. It's warm up. <laughs> You're like you have no idea. You have no you idea. Have no idea. <laughs> but my kids, my kids has a band, and so the parents got together, and you know, like I'm like such a gambler in life. I think I'm like always like trying to like go for like the quick fix, and so that we were all the parents were sitting around talking, and the, all the parents were in a full agreement that these kids should go to college next year, <gasps> and I was the one that was like. <laughs> Can you imagine everyone like goes home? That YouTuber dad, what a yeah, fucking I'm sure, prick. I'm sure that's what they say. They're like, feel free, Jason, to not share your opinion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 There's always one. Yeah, because I'm like, hmm, maybe. I'm gonna be honest, when YouTubers <laughs> have kind of like had success in their career and they're still in high school, I've probably to their parents' dislike, always been like, college is gonna be there afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah College yeah. is gonna be there. Like if you right now are loving what you're doing and you're providing for yourself and you feel like there's momentum here, mm-hmm. college is gonna be there but afterwards. There's a difference between just not going to college and just not really doing anything and living in your parents' basement. And mm-hmm. like the passion that I have for insert whatever the fuck it is here is so big 
college would be a waste of time because all I'm going to be doing is thinking about the thing I want totally. to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. A big yeah. Difference. yeah. 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 And I feel that their passion is that big. Yeah. I also feel like too, like you're taking on a shit ton of debt to do something that you're yeah. not sure of too. Is like, that's another huge factor that I feel like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Here we are preaching anti-college rhetoric. I, no, I just think, I don't <laughs> think that like the path that worked for somebody else is going to just work for for somebody. Like there's no reason yeah. to go, oh, that, that model works. I have to go do that. Like yeah. it works for them. Yeah. But maybe not for you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah and yeah. things are so different now. Maybe yeah. it worked for you 30 years ago. Yep. But, but like, and speaking now. of other parents, do you feel like you're more or less on the same page as like the average parent in LA? Because I think LA must have some of the weirdest oh, parents. Oh yeah, that's a great question. All the parents are just like really, really cool. Yeah? Yeah, they're just like, uh, no, pretty much all the parents are the same. They're, they're dealing with their kids and they're, they've got the same complaints, you know, like he didn't do his homework or he showed up late or yeah. whatever. I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty good. I, I just let them do what they want. Were your kids born here? <laughs> Or yeah. in a city. Hey, born in Cedars. Got it. Yeah. Got it. It's so crazy. I literally can't imagine what it's like growing up as a kid in right. LA. Like that's so wild. Yeah, they have it all. Yeah. One time I tried to, I told them I was going to move to Calabasas. They got really upset. Really? Yeah, they were like, we're going to leave LA. We love LA. Right. Because yeah, they would like, be so I think it's like a shithole. far outside <laughs> of like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. I just can't even imagine like when on the weekends in a small town, it's like you can go to the movies walk around the mall until it closes at 8.30. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, those are your options. And that's why you start drinking in people's basements at right. 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, like yeah. in LA, you've got so many options. Like everything was a basement party when I was a kid. Everything was a basement party. Someone's basement. Someone's basement. Yeah, yeah that's or field. We, or field. Or field. field, field, field. Yeah. Literally yeah. a field. Gun yeah. club. Yeah. Why? Hold on. So Did, what? Didn't have that one in Canada. We used to go to the gun club. Gen X. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, what, what is a gun club? It's a place where you shoot guns. Okay, got it. Yeah. Huh. Okay, got it. It's well named. No one had any guns. Got it. Right. It was like it was just a field that we would take over and got it. It with kegs oh, and stuff. Oh, got it. So Gun Club was the the group name, not the establishment. No, no, like it, it's a place where people would like go and shoot. Right, like skeet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Skeet. What's yeah. skeet? We know so much about this. I don't know. They, it's like people. It's orange discs that people aim yeah, at and you go, fire. Paul. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, you when Cheney got shot a long time ago. Who? Yeah, Dick Cheney. Yeah. Never mind, you're Canadian. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I, stupid reference. Woo. Yeah, our vice president was shot oh. by a friend accidentally. Oh. Yeah, and that guy just oh. died. And we did a couple weeks ago. Okay, yeah. they're like the All man right. who shot Dick Cheney died. Wow. Okay, so that um, great. Well, this that is a history podcast. I love history. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know much, but I like hearing about it. <laughs> next Moving on to the next. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we've got a quick little segment um, called Explain. Um, I, you know, it doesn't really have a name. We could probably workshop this because uh, Hot Ones calls it Explain This Gram, where you've got quite a collection of Instagram photos yeah. um, that exist. Let's do it. You've been on the internet for a long time. And so we've got <laughs> some fun photos. You Horrible, can just... you have to post on Instagram. <laughs> oh, I know. What a shit show. <laughs> what I wish I didn't have to post. I, I would delete my account right now. If you gave me $10 million, I'd delete it. Pre or post tax? <laughs> uh, Pre-tax. Okay. <laughs> okay. What, what are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we constantly posting ourselves? Well, so, so we, we can, can make money. Because we can play games like this. We can play games like this. Yeah, you're giving us content for explain that pig. So you can have I Twitter like that your wedding. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let's do it. Wild till night. Oh. Oh, boy. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. What? We, had, on, our, we had our producer pull these, so we're, we're experiencing these for the first time as well, too. That is a good one. God, I love Gru. Gru in front of a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. You're really nailing the skinny legs and like giant upper body. Yeah, well, like we proportion have, build. We, I borrowed my daughter's friend's hockey uh, football pads. Victor, <laughs> Victor, it's a shout out to Victor, who's in eighth grade. Um, Victor, thank you for those football pads, and I got them back to you on time. Time for Monday practice. But yeah, we were we were just like we, we were really lucky. We have this woman named Jackie, uh, Jackie Coon, and she does um, she can do anything. She can make you look like anybody. Oh, so she's like a prosthetic. Yeah, makeup. prosthetic. She yeah. works on Marvel stuff. Wow. She works on, uh, and she's incredible. She put a zit on me the other day. That was like insane. Like a disgusting oozing zit. She made it. She can. She can make you a zit that like squirts. <gasps> like she can do anything. Like, I've, literally, I've always wondered if I could get a zit that squirts. Yeah, that's go to Jackie. That's perfect. That yeah. is so crazy. So, so she. We just said, oh, we should try Gru. And just uh, for fun season. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and then, you know, I worked on the voice and tried to do the voice and we made like a little video. But uh, can we hear the voice? Yeah. Oh, yes. You know, you talk like this. And uh, I think that's how it goes. I think we did Gru <laughs> rapping Drake. Uh, uh, with, 
I got everything, I got everything. I cannot complain, I cannot. I don't even know how much I really made. It's a, it's a lot. Fuck that, never mind what I got. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, those are like, we just do make, makeup stuff. It takes like two hours to put on. That only took two hours? Yeah, it only takes two hours. I'm that shocked. is so crazy. Because you know some of those transformations take fucking forever. Days, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They just put it on you and it's, um, you have to buy the, the expensive parties. You have to buy the prosthetic and you have to pre-order it. And it the Ferrari, a weeks and, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you huge or is this Ferrari small? Um, No, the Ferrari is, uh, that's Corinna's Ferrari, I think. Mm. And it's, um. I don't know. No, I just have football pads on. Okay, and, got and, it. And then I was like, that was when I was kind of skinnier in the summer. I was in better shape. Okay. But it was, um, we went to, um, we went to a party after and uh, <laughs> tried to get more content and I like rode the bull. And it's really fun when you see people you know in that costume. Because there's no way they think They it's don't you. know it's you. That and is- then you'll be like, you'll be talking to somebody and you'll be like, Jacob, it's me. And he'll be like, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Do you enjoy like- uh, Doing that shit for a day? Uh, yeah, yeah, like your head hurts a lot and it's hard to breathe. And then yeah. there's a lot of like down- You're hot. Okay, there's a I'm, lot of downtime. I, I don't need the sob story. Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. Best that, answer. Like, the, like, the, like this morning, I was like, I want to go listen to the first episode of Views. And yeah. So like, go listen to it. Yeah. And like you guys went into like great detail about all of the absolute shit that you used to just put on and like dress up as and all this thing like constantly oh. over and over and over. I was like, I bet he hates that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you like make content every day. It's like. I don't know. That would oh, well, be you, awful. Yeah, you just, you're just always doing something. <laughs> yeah, but like that's, that's effort. This is also doing yeah. new level. Like when we say I make content every day, it's like, okay, let's take a, let's. Yeah, no, she's making yeah. fucking cream. <laughs> I'm making ninja. Oh. She's not going to the two hours of like prosthetics. <laughs> right. Well, this is, this is like, this is a like, yeah, this is extra. Yeah. I mean, it's worth it. It's worth it to like, um, especially we did it on Halloween. So then you can go to a Halloween party like that. Oh yeah, that's fun. And w- how long ago was this? This was last October. Okay. And <laughs> when you do this, what's your, do you tell your fiance that you're going to be groove for the day or? Yeah, I'll tell her, but then I don't tell my friends. So I just show up right? <laughs> and we film their reaction. Does she understand why you do this thing to yourself? Um, yeah, she, she gets it. Yeah. She's, she's like a, she used to do stand up and stuff. So she's pretty clued in. She what? writes me jokes all the time. Wait, really? Yeah. That, she's that's incredible. She's incredible. That's a nugget that, that mm. yeah, I was not expecting that. She's incredible. Yeah, she's just like she does everything. I'm just, God, please don't leave me. God, <laughs> this is sickening, sickening the love. That's There's just not, I mean, every girl is saying. like, I can't get a guy to fucking respond to know, one text, and this dude's like, sure, a couple more kids of 18 years, not a big deal. I love you. Let's do well, this girl, thing. Well, girl, girl should should date a little older. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, a little bit. Totally whether, agree. Whether, Even if it's like four years. Or at least three years. Mentally mature. Even yeah, mentally. because we, we have a friend who's like 28. She's really pretty. She's a gorgeous girl. And she's just like, she won't date anyone her age, you know, because they're, they're guys are just stupid. Right. Especially in LA too. Like, yeah. I, the, like the, the gr- stunted growth in LA for guys, I think is like next level. You can be t- in your 20s until you're 40. Yeah. yeah. 100% agree. Easily. 100% agree. Yeah. yeah. You got to get a guy who realizes he's at, he's at the end. <laughs> And he's got to get by somebody. My final act. Yeah. I, got, yeah. I got listen. The first two weren't great, but this final one. That's exactly I'm going to leave everybody in this fucking auditorium yeah. remembering this version of me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I get it. Oh, that, this is a Jackie job too. I got to be honest. This is Jackie too? This is Jackie Those are well. great tits. Yeah. Uh, this, you can't even see the separation. What do you mean? Oh, like from the. From, not between yeah. the tits. I was like, no, no look, I'm staring at it right now. I just love this belly on top of the tits too. It's like the juxtaposition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big, like turned on up top and uh, below it's a, it's a sobering reality. I tell you though, the, the tits, the, when you have the tits, it yeah. uh, really helps your waist. Yeah. Cause I look, cause I, I have a belly there, but yeah, it, it really, yeah. really nice. That and are, putting, putting things on looks good. That or just our attention just goes up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Right. Got it. You would be a, a beautiful woman. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, oh, wait. I, hang on, hang on. We, we The no context of why you've got massive tits out. Oh, Runyon, sorry. Runyon I, was, can in I was objectifying yeah, you. Yeah. No, again, that was, um, that was just, just another, a Jackie. To, 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 to show up and surprise them. Got it. Wow. Well, that's it. And, the, and they, got, they got really horny. Question. Okay. Yeah, I, I noticed that none of your other friends seem to be dressing up like this. 
are you just the one that volunteers for this every time? I don't know, man. I'm so desperate for content. I was just like, <laughs> these ideas, they come across my desk and, and then somebody's like, what desk? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> My couch. I'm mostly like this on my couch at home. I'm like, I've noticed throughout this podcast, you just kept. I'm like, I was like, do we need to? And then some, like, younger, the angle? some younger YouTuber will come over and be like, uh, yeah, if we can do this, and I'll film it too, and then you'll make money, and I'll be like, okay, I'll do it. And then you have boobs, boobs on your chest. Yeah, and then you spend the day with boobs, and you know they're really fun to pull off because you tear them off, and they're they're just like uh, two. Two piece, two half, half, half balls of styrofoam. Oh, there. styrofoam. Yeah. And then she makes them look really real. I mean, she's yeah, they, incredible. They look hire incredible. her. Wow. You should do, you should hire get, her get for boobs? something, for a video. Mm. So get boobs. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know. What I size don't. are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Jason's like, next photo. Carrie oh, told please. me something on the other podcast that I was like, oh, oh I told God. Jason about My massive the, penis? No, the, yeah, that too. But <laughs> the, the guy. Thank you for cutting that the out. The guy. <laughs> <laughs> the guy on Please Reddit. Please do, otherwise everyone knows mm -hmm. a joke. Keep going. The guy on Reddit who jizzed on his phone. Oh, oh. for you. Yes. Uh, did you guys watch it back? <laughs> we didn't go looking for it, but. <laughs> sure, you, okay, got it. Okay. I'm saving it for later. We okay. can <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, Howie. That's so cool. Howie did my podcast and I did his podcast and he's, he's a very, um, I really like Howie because he, he, um, uh, He's a big celebrity <laughs> who slums it with YouTubers. Okay. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't have to. Well, like when you were like, he, I did my, I did his podcast and he did my, I'm like, wow, How you, you, you made time for Howie. Him? That's great. <laughs> I was? You made time for Howie's podcast. That's, that's. <laughs> no, I was like thrilled to get him on my podcast. I was like, and then he was like, they were, that was the trade. They were like, you come and do Howie and then Howie would do yours after. I said, okay, great. Like I was so thrilled because I just started mine. What did you say? How did you guys get connected with him? Oh, through David. Through David. So Got I think it. Howie saw David's videos and was very charmed by them and, oh, and thought I David see. was, you know, very funny. Yeah. And, and, and Howie, Howie's got a, Howie's a fucking rock star comedian, man. He mm. knows what's funny. Um, and uh, he knows, he just knows. I don't know if you've ever watched like older stuff of yeah. him. Like mm -hmm. he was a fucking great stand up um, and a great actor. Um, and um, so, yeah. So then we would go over there. He has a studio over in Van Nuys, like mm -hmm. a, like a, a it's real, very nice. We've been there, yeah. Yes. It's a real playground. It's like, and he, it's great because he has all kinds of different people coming through with mm. different talents. And I think like Logan Paul shot over there for a yeah. while, different people. So how he's, how he's the shit. He really does like embed himself into the digital space, yeah. I feel like, which is cool. But like, it mean, comes from like a pure love. Right. Yeah. I asked yeah. him that. Yeah. I was like, you don't need to do this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have yeah. so much money. And he's like, what else am I going to do? Right. That's right. He actually likes it. Yeah. So that's cool. But isn't that why you think he's like, it, it's timeless? If, if it was like for the money or everything had to be yeah, like so successful, right. yes. it, it would lose its luster. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah. that's true with everything in life. When somebody really loves something and it has like a pure intention, it just goes so much further. My fiance told me the other day, she goes, she goes, my nails are incredible ever since I fell in love. I go, what? Why? Well, she goes, my nails used to be broken and they didn't. And now that I'm in love, they're, they're, they've never looked better. They're strong. Yeah. And Have you ever heard something like that? Um, <laughs> I feel like not that exactly. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I feel like you feel you, like you, like when Jeremy stopped working at his last job, like his resting heart rate went down just like overall stress levels. Yeah. After they dissipated from his life, his resting heart rate and just like his overall like vitals yeah. improved. Like it went from a near death man to a 31 year old Yeah, man. let's get back on topic though. Have your nails changed since falling in love with me? Because if not, <laughs> uh, they look great. Perla yeah. does a great job. <laughs> but were they good before you met me? I, I just want to know if it's improved. Perla or? does a great job. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Jonah. Um, another, another like. Is that your bit. real hair? Yeah, I used to have longer hair. Wow, wow that is flow. You like Ash Ketchum. <laughs> what a funny way to say Ashton Kutcher. No, um, but does not he looks like no from the Pokemon? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were trying to say Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> That's funny, Sue. You, you guys oh, said Ash that. Ketchum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, we are not. No one's on the same yeah, page right now. Yeah, yeah. Somebody no made me dress up as that once. And I didn't know what it was. Yeah, but like, doesn't he kind of look like, uh, he's like, got, like a throwing bit. balls at fucking inanimate objects? I think it's the hat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, um, again, this was everybody. Just a bit. Everybody waiting for 45 minutes while I set it up. <laughs> and then I when come in. When you say set it up, for the people that are on audio, you mean individually placing sushis on top of another man's body? Yeah. And everyone's mom was visiting for Mother's Day. So like <laughs> Heath's mom was helping me put sushi on Jonah's body. 
Uh, my mom was helping put- Did they make it better or worse? It went a lot faster. <laughs> Um, Love the main power. Yeah. But the this, woman is power. Thing, this is a thing in LA that you used to be able to go do is like eat sushi off a body. I feel like this is such a movie thing. Yeah. Like you, you always hear like movies always start like this and then they find out that they're like, what's that one movie where she's waiting at home with the sushi. She finds out that the husband's cheating on her. What movie is that? Uh, you've Every limited movie. to about 330,000. Yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. right, 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 right. right. Uh, so it's a chick that's waiting for, I yeah. Okay. I just want to point out that you're not wearing anything ridiculous here and you're the one that is doing this the makeup of somebody else. Yeah, this yeah. is a good dynamic this for is, you. We're seeing the upward trajectory here. This is when Jonah came into the group and had to do all the embarrassing things that I was doing so that <laughs> it got passed on to him. You got it. The new pledge. Yeah, yeah the new pledge. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But Jonah's really, oh, <laughs> Paris. <laughs> wow, great hair, Jason. This is an amazing photo. Yeah, that was. I don't know where your teeth went, but. We've, we've, we've met her. She's really sweet. She's great. She's, I mean, she's stunning. All right, so what was going on she in this? She is stunning. Yeah. Yeah. So what What carpet is this? Where is this? Ah, we were at, I know we were at like the Beverly Hilton. I'm not sure what we were there for, but it was something, some party. I was like, a, it might've been like a Golden Globes party or something. And uh, and this this photo, like someone sent me this photo, it popped up the next day. I was trying to get a shot for my vlog. And, and there's there was Paris looking Perfect. Literally stunning. The cameraman tried as much as possible yeah. like to blur out the guy in the background. <laughs> yeah. like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I look like it's a whole pervert. It's just a perfectly just, timed photo. To be fair though, you have to thank him because otherwise this would be a hell of a meme. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, thank God, yeah. right? <laughs> Lesbian getting a shot of Paris. <laughs> Fitness transformation has been truly wow. incredible. I take steroids. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Truly though. This is what happens when you listen to Joe Rogan and uh, eat liver. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, I, I, I was fat all my life and, and just like, I, I, I don't drink, I have a food addiction. I just eat too much. I'm always eating too much. And I'm always just like, ah, pizza. Blah, blah, blah. And then I just got to the point where I was just like, okay, enough, 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 Jason. Is what I said to myself. <laughs> Wait, but say more. Like, because you, you, what, only two, three years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. This was, yeah, I probably lost like, I used to be 206. Mm -hmm. Then I got down to like 190 for a really long time. And then, you know, last year, last summer, uh, Heath lost all this weight. And I think part of me was like, I can, I want to show that I can keep up with those guys because they're yeah. so much younger than me. And I was like, I'm going to try it too, you know? So I cut my diet, I like a really strict diet, really thing. And I'm just so much happier um, it's the same thing. Like if I were to go out and do cocaine every night, it'd be fun, but I would be miserable. And it's the same thing with food. Not speaking from experience. <laughs> speaking from experience. <laughs> <laughs> goes, uh, it would be, it uh, might be, be this. A blast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was my twenties. Ultimately, you know, it would kill me or, or it would, uh, you know, you wouldn't feel good. And so that's, that's what I did. I just like, no more. Wow. And so how much did the, I, like, I know you made some content around like how the Dave Portnoy clip on BFFs was like <laughs> one of like the breaking points. How much did that actually wait, wait, play? Wait, explain that. So there's, <laughs> Jason, you'll explain it better than I was. I, it was, I don't know. It was like, I love Dave Portnoy. I think he's great. And I like that show BFFs I've been on, whatever. And so then he made, he made a, they, they were talking about me and they said, I look like a grandmother. Okay. And, and that was before. In I, costume? No, no, no. Oh. Just like they, they got a clip of me, like not looking good. Like before I lost the weight and in fairness, I didn't look good. I did look like a grandmother <laughs> and they were, they were teaching Dave who I was. And Dave was like, that guy's in the vlog squad. He's like, he looks like my grandmother <sighs> like that. And, and, uh, and they were, they were kind of teasing Dave like, yeah, Dave, he's old like you. And he's like, I don't look like that. <laughs> He's like, I look good. Your day like is that. So funny. <laughs> and uh, and uh, which is true. He he did look better than me. He's also younger than me, and he's tan, and he doesn't have kids, and right. he's mm -hmm. fucking rich, rich and he hangs shit. out in Miami yeah. all day. Right. Uh, and uh, so, anyways, that happened. <laughs> and then uh, he did my podcast, which was awesome. He was the first guest on my podcast. I was super grateful. Everywhere I went, I was like, would say like, I'm super grateful, whatever. And then I did the transformation. I lost 30 pounds and he went on BFFs and he was like, I don't like it. <laughs> He's like, I think he looks weird <laughs> like that. And I was like, you motherfucker. I was like, what, which way do you want me, what, Dave? What else do you want? That's a guy yeah. from Boston yeah. talking about another guy from Boston. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. it. 49. So I'm 45. It's all the same after 40. And I like this. <laughs> I think I look significantly younger. Dave, you don't have kids. I think objectively, if you like did family feud style, 
and like uh, surveyed a hundred people who is younger. I think I would get the younger vote looking wise. And yeah, I don't have kids. <laughs> you, you, I wasn't married to Trisha Paytas. So there's a lot of things <laughs> that work in my favor. That'll put some years on your life for sure. That's true. What did Bree and Josh think? Let the younger kids decide. Okay, okay, okay. Come um, on, well, you're right here with me. Look at me. <laughs> I don't look good on camera. I look better in person, right? Yeah, definitely Dave's younger, though. I think it's the hair color, too. It's no kids. I think it's having no kids. You don't get as much stress in your life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, you're gray. I mean, you're gray, and I'm like golden blonde <laughs> sun blue so that, If Big I dick. was gray, that would He was really loves himself, which up. is cool. You'll be there soon. <laughs> That's what I say to all my friends. You'll be there soon. <laughs> that was funny. You'll I said to my friend Danielle soon. the other day, she was making fun of, fun of me. She's like 26. I was like, Danielle, I'll tell you something. You're 26. You said in about 20 years, you're going to be 45. You're going to be divorced. <laughs> you're going to have no job. This is your friend? Yeah, you're going to okay. hit the wall. <laughs> and I'm going to make sure I'm alive. <laughs> to see it. To see I it. will be there. I'll be to there. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I said, enjoy Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see a neon carnival tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just think about that. Because it does. It's like, you know, you just get there. You just, you're just one day you turn around, you're old. It's fucked. We're not going to end the podcast on that so note. So I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, the audience needs to know. No. Enjoy your youth. Okay. Okay. Let, let, let's rebrand that. Make the most of what you can, you have now. And also if you're unemployed, let me say this. Enjoy it. Go out and go to museums every day. Like, don't be sad that you're unemployed. Just fucking live meagerly and you know, one day you'll be a working stiff. Live in, live meagerly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meagerly. Yeah. I didn't meagerly. know where the unemployment thing, I was going to like, I thought you were going to be like, okay, hit Indeed and start applying to some jobs. <laughs> you went, uh, no. go to a museum. Yeah. Double down on unemployment thing. <laughs> That's the mistake people make is that everything, nothing means anything like jobs. And I, I just don't think, I just don't think there's that much happiness in like success. Ooh. Okay. No, but say more. It's, yeah. it's, I it's think, so overrated. I yeah. think that you, if you don't have anyone to enjoy your, any success that you have yes. with, it means nothing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But the, I mean, this is the thing I'm like, I'm trying to wrap my head around with you. I don't know if you could be as happy as you are today if you didn't go through some real shit that went coming to it. Like, That's I just true. don't know if you, like, if your personality or my personality or, or anybody's knows how to go, man. Look where I am today. Mm -hmm. If they haven't gone from like, oh my God, how am I going to get to tomorrow? A hundred percent. All the things that you go through, they, like it just, it makes you so much better. It's like, it's unreal. Like any, any, anything that I've gone through that was like really hard. Um, it just makes you appreciate life so much. And uh, that's just one thing that, you know, I don't know. I always think about that. And, or even like people that, the people that we find interesting, like uh, like John Mulaney had a, like went to rehab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like so much more, I like him so much more. Yeah. That he went to rehab. He makes sense to me now. Yeah. It, it yeah. humanizes he, him. He humanizes yeah. him. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And sharing that with people is like so important. You yeah. Know? yeah. And In a way that you can laugh at too. Yeah. And make it, make it funny. Yeah. yeah. The special mm -hmm. is incredible. Yeah. Yeah, it's really incredible. I was just going to Jason how like the first half of my career was very much just like all of facade. Yeah. And how mm. like once you're able to like actually talk about real things and connect with people and like share like points of relatability, it just it opens up a totally different, I think, environment for yeah. making content. But that sounds really funny for you to like take those videos that you privated and watch them. Oh, it's awful. But have you done that yet? Oh yeah. 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 Like oh. and, and shown the audience, like, look how cheesy I was. Yes. Oh, oh that's, yes, that's yes, really yes, funny. yes, yes, yes. Oh no, no, like the, like the last couple of years has just solely been people pulling back the curtain and showing how awful that period was. Yeah. And it's it, the other thing too is like you're thirty, like you're a baby. I know. You know, like it's so, it's so, uh, <laughs> so much to come. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you've accomplished so much. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that makes it even harder because like you don't really have time to sit there and think about yourself that much. You've got to do stuff. Mm -hmm. You got to make stuff happen. You Jason said I have to post on Snapchat a hundred times a day. <laughs> I didn't say that. It's that or OnlyFans, Lauren. Get it together. <laughs> take your pick. <laughs> Preferably both. I'll take the pics. I was, in bah I was in Bahamas with some OnlyFans people. You were in Jamaica with OnlyFans people. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's like some of the girls do OnlyFans, some of the guys do OnlyFans, whatever. So like they're there to get content. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, which is great. I'm right. all for OnlyFans. They're killing it. I'm making so much money. Printing money. Killing it. And I love it. 
but I feel awkward. You know what I mean? Like I, it's like they're walking around naked. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> you know, so I'm like with my fiance. So like one one time we were walking down. The, we went to go to Atlantis to get food because we got no food. And yeah. and we said goodbye to the girls on the beach. We're like, we're going to Atlantis. And Naveen and I start walking. So then we come back from Atlantis, and I'm fucking, I'm in the beach. I had hip surgery. And I, I'm dragging my <laughs> diet cokes. I got sunblock. Uh. Got a big hat on. Mm -hmm. My face is covered in white. And the girls are in the, they're in the water, right? And I'm not going to walk over to them in the water. You know, like, I don't know them, whatever. I kind of know them. They were in a different house. Mm -hmm. And then they're in the water and they're going, they're going, hey, they're waving to Naveen and I. And I'm like, oh, someone's talking to me. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then, so I'm like walking towards them and they're going, no, 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 like that. And I'm like, and I can't hear because I'm so old. So I don't know what they're saying. But what they're saying is, we're nude. Don't come any closer. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh my god! And then finally, I got there, and they're like, we're nude. And I was like, oh, 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 oh okay, okay, no worries. No, worries. I'll keep. Walking. I got my diet coke. <laughs> I, I couldn't hear you before. I can't still see you. It's fine. <laughs> oh my okay. god! I didn't see anything. You know, they're they're in the water, but but yeah, it's just like oh, that was. It's just tough to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough to go. I'm just out here me. You're like my old. You know, I'm looking. Like, I don't know. No, no, no. I, yeah, you don't. You. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> okay. You know, when you have your friends that are all, um, all my friends are YouTubers or yeah. OnlyFans people, or mm -hmm. and they're great. I mean, I love having friends like that. I feel so lucky to have those guys as friends because um, they teach me so much and you know, everything's really exciting. Everyone's nude. Uh, <laughs> no, but no, but you know, it's just, you just feel out of place sometimes. Yeah, that makes sense. I do. Makes sense. Um, I would love to hear a little bit about what you're working on and what people me? can can be, if they're excited about you, what they would go and find and see know. and I'm consume. I'm not that excited about myself really, but. Listen, if you're gonna, if you're gonna dress up as Gru for a couple of views, we have, and I'll tell you this, we have, uh, it's a scientific fact, we have the nicest audience in the we world. We really do, it's yeah. Like, yeah. Sits up. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All Good Things Podcast, uh, new they've YouTube all channel, off Jason Nash Comedy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm doing stand-up. I'm going to like uh, different cities. Okay. And I'm going to do comedy. Huge. And, and uh, When's the last time you, you did this? Uh, 2019. Okay. okay. Oh, no, no, no. I, no, I did shows like, uh, like 20, 2021. Okay. Uh, but, you know, I hate, I don't know, I'm more nervous. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm not that good at it. Okay. You know, it's, you know, you see these guys like Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura who have like been doing it for 20, Insane, 20 yeah. years. They're really good. So to, to go in and uh, play a comedy club, it's like, oh, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to like, I'm playing like three shows in Southern California. I'm playing Texas, Florida, Boston, New York. It's Is like, it, it's like 30 shows. Dates up already? Uh, they'll go up tomorrow. Ooh, yeah. great. Okay, so yeah, by the Jason Nash, Nash Tour.com if you want to come see me. Well, I'm shocked it's not Jason Nash Comedy.com. It's like that's the comedian thing to do. Yeah. Name, name, comedy.com. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, we got to change it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing for the summer. Cool. That's yeah. exciting. Is Naveen yeah. coming with you? And if you don't come with me, yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. exciting though. Yeah. Because like, yeah. you do the road with somebody. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, if you've yeah. done stand up before, this will be the first tour you've done like with her? Yeah, first tour. That's cool. She'll have to be an economy. But, uh, I mean, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know how it is. Uh, and, but you'll text her from first class and say, babe, do you want some of my orange juice? It's free up here. <laughs> Might not. Yeah. <laughs> no, if, no, she'll take the first class seat probably. Yeah, you'll be in like, a middle seat in the back. Yeah, like, yeah. babe, are you comfortable? Yeah. Don't speak to me when we're in public. <laughs> okay. Uh, we also did an episode over on Jason's podcast, yes. which is called? All Good Things. All Good Things. Yep, and that'll be up um, next week. I like it, it's good. So we took it. It's all very positive. Things. Love I like it. All Good Things. things. I like yeah. this name. Thank you uh, well, so much. it's good because it's, 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 we get, we it's have the trademarked. trademarks. Yeah. Low, low yeah. SEO. Yeah. Right. No, <laughs> we own that. That's, that's us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for Thanks for having me. You guys are really great. I really appreciate you having me. It was like. It was fun. Yeah. I wonder if we'll ever see each other again. No, definitely not. Yeah, <laughs> We yeah. go to the same gym, Jason, so I'm sure I'll see you. We do? We do. Oh, you want to say which yeah. one and have where you, you guys live? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. I'm going to be honest, you usually do look kind of miserable. I know. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I see you over on the mat doing the abs and I'm like, he doesn't look like he's having fun. <laughs> Tell. <laughs> Tell. That was, what just happened is also my worst nightmare. Yeah. You've seen me working out. <laughs> yeah. Where I'll never show my face to you again. It's terrible. So we should take a class. Oh, I don't, I don't do the classes. No. I don't do the class. Do you do the classes? I haven't done one there yet, but I will. Because you know, I got kicked out of hot yoga for stinking. 
So <laughs> I um I should have told you this when we were talking about hot yoga. Yeah, no, this fucking a man. You know I can't do anything right. <laughs> you know you go. My friend wants me to go to hot yoga. He's he asked me for months and months and months and months, and finally I go, and I love it. Like I love it. Like I think it's the greatest thing ever. I'm like, oh my god, this is so great. Like I feel so. You finally good. get there and you go. Ah, he was right. Yeah, he was right, and I'm going every day. And then a couple months go by, and he pulls me aside, and he's like, yo. <gasps> The teacher called and like a couple people have been complaining Stop. about your smell. And I was just like, I was completely mortified. And I've, I've really embarrassed myself on YouTube, but I've never been more mortified. <laughs> I was just like, oh my God. So yeah, so now I'm out. You got kicked out of hot yoga. Yeah, I kicked out. I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, I mean, I can go back, but I'm too embarrassed. You oh. have to go in the crew costume so no one knows it's you. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You put a pair of tits on and time for Shivasa. <laughs> <laughs> That's all this week. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>